Good morning, chat. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? <laughs> and while I'm we're gonna get to song swap because I realize it's the wrong loop for this. Because I am an absolute mastermind of my craft. I think it's what I normally used. <laughs> you put Mark apply finance for his part one in the loop. Yeah, that's a great plan. Tr trust me. There we go. Oh boy. So, it's been also done a bloody tier list, which is a shame because I really do enjoy tier lists. But that might be a problem with the reason of. The only problem inherent to doing a tier list. A lot of plants. Including plants that we didn't do last time we did this tier list. I just kind of felt like I'd be doing this because I feel like over a year I've changed my opinions on quite a few plants. So I figured, you know what? We'll do stream again. Why not? Does we any particular order? We'll see. I might just put a few plants on each tier for facade just to get an idea of what each tier is actually about. Anyways, what this tier is actually about is pinned in the chat. I should probably put something down here actually, if I can. Okay, let's see this. Oh. I was guessing something done put on the screen so we just so like to make sure it's always clear what it's actually all about. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Technology, technology. Why does it look so crappy? <laughs> I I don't know. Why? <laughs> you know what? Whatever. Just <laughs> can I can I just like copy the things from the other screen? I don't know why it's <laughs> why that's so bad. Oh, you know, whatever. It's fine. We'll just we'll deal with it. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know why that text is so crunchy. That's that's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. What's causing that? Whatever. I give up. I don't know how she loves did this. She loves is an enigma to us all. It would seem. But yeah, this tier list is pretty much not about power. I don't give a damn how strong a plan is. What I give a damn about is how cool they are. Interesting what they add to the game and so on. I don't care that Pokeran can solo every level in the game. Pokra sucks. It also can solo every level in the game. It's a bad plant. That question went to the long blue paragraph is. Glad you asked, because I just quickly go over what each tier means. Uh, peak plant is S tier essentially. These are plants I actually love and think add a lot to the game. Great plants are great, really nice, I really like them. Cool is basically just above average, because realistically this tier is going to be massive, or at least these three are. Cool is basically above average, average is average, and below average is meh. These are plants I think are either above average slightly or below average slightly, but I just give them different names because, yes. I can just call them above and below average, but the last list did that, and I think it's kind of weird. This is my plants actually start getting really bad, and I start to really not like them. Uh, the creators of these plants that have not been a sweet release of death, the creators of the Judge and Solskishna, is basically F tier. It's for plants I don't like. Uh, for instance. You can get the sense of what this tier is all about now. D don't need to say anything more. Okay. Let's get my phone up quickly. There'll be a lot of plants in those bottom three tiers. I'm gonna say that now. Oh, 
from a view. Okay. Maybe it's going to be good. Oh, you, you don't? Yeah, tell me. Like, you know, Dale's kind of going through these plants, and I realize that, like, since the last tier list, I think none of the plants are going above average. As, like, only two plants that are going average. It's like it's somewhere. I mean, it's been pinned in the chat, so you know what? If they can't read, it's their fault. I don't give a damn. Anyways. To kind of give us a bit more information for some of these plants, because some of these plants are kind of weird. I got the two best source information. Uh, got the wiki up right here. Unfortunately, fandom wiki, because there's another wiki that's not the fandom wiki, which is here. Um, now I'm not sure. Uh, it's better, but it's can't don't have all the information. It's all information about like Dragon Brute. Even Electric Peel doesn't have real information here. And uh, Zach Scott Games, because he has done so many videos of this game. <laughs> So ungodly many, and he's done a video on every single plant, to my knowledge. So this is unironically one of the best ways to learn what each plant does in this game. That's not even a joke. <laughs> so if you have any information about a certain plant, like... Whatever. We'll, we'll do it here. This is how we'll find it. There's like 1,148 of these videos, it is remarkable. How would a Tomb Tank and Blover are going? Good question. Anyways. Uh, let's go get started with this tier list then, I suppose. Just get, like, the very uh, basic plants up. Uh, seeing of which, probably get, like, the most important plants up. Uh, the plants which are by definition average because they are literally the basis for everything in the game. BC plants have, like... Nothing worth saying about. Like, there's, there's, there's no way you can even argue any plants anywhere else. They'll be definition of average. I guess we can also put, like, Bong Choi here. Because I guess Bong Choi is also very average for melee plants go. Let's get, like, the other plants out of the game done. Potato Mine, I'm actually gonna put in Cool, I think. I like the concept of Potato Mine more, and it is more distinct and, dis like, different. It is not, like, the basis, like, basic, like, most average version of the idea, best, like, chili bean. Is this a girly game option with some decent utility? So, it deserves to be slightly up. Uh, other plans we have to do here. Where's Cabbage Pulled? There he is. Cabbage Pulled is... bad. Cabbage Pulled! I think Sixers did a video on this, though I think everybody missed the point of it. The Cabbage Bolt is just such a pointless plan in PZ2. It does nothing, really. Like, there's not really a logistication for it to do anything. Because it, it, like... It counts as gravestones in quotation marks. It doesn't do anything about them. It, it barely does crap. It's just kind of a bad plan in general. It's it's so similar to Peach that it just doesn't mean you get a new plant realistically until like Bloomerang. Like, why would you do this? If if, if Cash Pool just replaced by Kernel Pool, the game would be ten times better. I genuinely believe. Just use the lobbers. Lobbers are not a real mechanic in PZ2 though. Like, it affects like three zombies. Graves aren't that big of a deal. So. Whatever. Literally, if he doesn't do anything, so he's going in bad here. I think that's justifiable. To go on to the rest of the ancient Egypt plants, I can find them. Why is Twin Sunflower the first one I can find? Well, Twin Sunflower is very generic. I like the playstyle, but it is functionally really boring. There's nothing distinct about Twin Sunflower that only it can do. In vanilla, it has a distinct playstyle, which is slower, but. Mm. Realistically, it's really bad anyways, and aside of Vanilla, it's more of a secondary producer, which is standard role. Nothing really distinct about it. This game design- this game design stuff. It's not really better. I think Cabbage just needs to be removed. There's no reason for it to exist, so just get rid of it. Remove it. Cut it off the, the line. 
Okay, repeaters. Let's get repeater done. Meh. I don't like repeater because I think mechanically it's really boring. And as a really boring plant, it just tends to like kind of make game make TV less interesting. In a lot of mods, especially, it kind of becomes way too much of a crutch because it's so generic and it's too good at everything. I'm thinking just putting repeater on this meta is correct. I don't think it'd be really complaining. Like, it's not a travesty of game design like Cabbage Pulled is. But it's just kind of meh. Peep has all big damage like Windermelon. Cool, but that's not what we're talking about. Repeater, if we're talking about repeater power, be up here. We're talking about repeater because it's a really lame plant. So the period of control. That doesn't solve any of its problems, but just makes it weird. Repeater just kind of makes the game less interesting. It's why, like, a few plants that were actually starting to remove repeater just because it's kind of lame. Uh, no, I'll keep it in there. I think I'm locking it down a bit, but I think that's kind of unfair. Let's see who's next. Iceberg lettuce, okay. A average. Oh, no, not cool. A average. A a average, yeah. There's like nothing interesting with iceberg lettuce and slightest. It's a really boring plant. I, I don't think it's even worth look noticing in the game. It's, it's like the most boring one. It's bad too. Iceberg is like... Not the worst plan in the game. That goes to like hot potato, which I think is like legitimately pointless. I think iceberg is just kind of meh. It's a fine default option. You can give it early on in the game, and it's like good. It gives people introduction to stalling plants, which is very important. But as a plan, it's really lame. But it's free. I don't give a damn. It's a really lame plan. The best iceberg I've ever seen was not free. <laughs> It was 25 stun. But it was also basically stunning, so it was kind of pointless in the long run. Is there any more plants in HD jump for game battle? Oh yeah, Bloomerang. Eh, also average. Bloomerang is really default for an extra attacker. I like Molten Repeater because it's more interesting. I like the Pierce. It's like a, it's a fun early game option for a plant, but it's also just... It's just Bloomerang. <laughs> Iceberg Lettuce is not being ranked on power. This will be jammed into your brain very soon. I don't care that Iceberg Lettuce plant food is alright. It, it, it's it's not... It's not going up. It, it's, it's a mere plant. It just kind of doesn't mean it's nothing. It's very average. Aki's way better. Aki's worse. Because Aki came, came after a Bloomerang. I've been just keeping Bloomerang here. Maybe not the first piece of mine I ever thought- sorry, I thought it looked weird. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I think just keeping facing here is correct. I think blowing around being anywhere else is just stupid. Me about Bumble is a bad bloomer. <laughs> true, true. So any of the ancient plants I'm missing? I think it's all of them. Oh no, Great Buster. Uh. I'm gonna explain this in a very simple way. Uh, Great Buster is unlocked in ancient Egypt. That is actually terrible. <laughs> Between uh, Great Buster and Cabbage Pulled, ancient Egypt has a lot of plants that are just completely redundant. Great Buster doesn't do anything in ancient Egypt. It's almost worthless there. Greys in ancient Egypt aren't that dangerous. They don't show them in column one very often, and they don't spawn that often either. Tomb Raiders, like, the most often they get spawned, but Repeater and Bloomerang both counter them quite nicely. Now, if it was not in this world, it was in Dark Ages, it'd be in Mertier, because Dark Ages does actually have a lot more graves. It also has, like, Sun Graves, Grand Graves, Necromancy makes graves a much bigger problem. It's much better there. But because it's Great Buster in goddamn ancient Egypt, meaning you don't get actually good plans for even longer, because Great Buster's like, what, the fall or fifth plan for you lock in a game? You get it way too early. It's actually stupid. Like... <laughs> I, I just don't see a reason for it to be anywhere else. Especially because it's placed in ancient Egypt, which is like the worst world for it. It just has no utility at all, realistically. Grimming Graves is not enough. 
Okay, I think that's all the engineers fans done at least. I, I might have missed one. They're a bit everywhere sometimes. Well, no matter. I think that'll probably be all this. Care for placement. I think for a Grave Earth in particular, it's because only two worlds it can be in, and they put it like Ancient Egypt way before Dark Ages was done. I'm gonna say it should be, but that's important here. Uh, is it either here or here? Uh, no, actually, think about it. This is gonna be filled with so much crap in it. Actually, putting in bad tiers is more better. Because I guess realistically, it is good in Dark Ages and does something there. Okay. Okay, let's go start with plants. Kernel Pulse. I love Kernel Pulled, honestly. Kernel Pulse is probably the first line of game you unlock, but I think is genuinely very unique. It plays very differently to almost every other level. Every other, like, plan in the game, it plays so differently. It's a, it's a very interesting soul plant. It's one of the most... It's one of the plants that has a very fun play style. I like Kernel a lot. Also, it's just Kernel Pulled means a lot to me personally. I think it's a very stupid plant, but it was a meme. Benji's okay, but I don't like that. I like the RNG because I like having a stall have a way to fail. And Kerbal having a way to fail kind of adds to a playstyle, which I think really works for it. Like, failure is kind of important sometimes. And I think Colonel Pulse kind of one of the best plans to encourage that. I think of I think otherwise it's kind of I think I think otherwise I just like it. It's a fun, a fun single star Gastola, which is always solid because we don't have a lot of those realistically. Like most so most souls in the game aren't very good at are, are very good at crowds, like Snowpy. It's very good at crowds. So, yeah. The majority of them are still 100 percent of the time stole, like Stolia. True. But Stolia comes in a lot later in the game, and pretty much you always get Kernel quite early. Everybody gives Kernel quite early. Okay, I think I'm happy with this one. Uh, next up, where's where Spike Weed? That's oh, Spike Weed's up here. Okay, well, get Spike Weed done. Oh, let's move Staff Drain to the right position. Spike Weed's really cool. I love Spike Weed. It's my favorite plan in the entire game. Just straight up. Like, I absolutely love this thing. Bias, yes. It's, it's my tier list. It's gonna be bias. I'm sorry to say. But I like Spike because it's like a good splashable answer to a lot of problems. It's one of the best counters to Chicken Wrangler, it's one of the best counters to Piano. It's a good counter against like a lot of swarmy zombies in general. It can be something on pretty much every deck and do something. It has a funny fun effect. It's it's pretty much the only plant that does its job. Two best Pokemon Magubba. True, but losing the Spike Weed usually is a big deal anyways. Like you can still use Spike Queen and Gark Heavy levels, you just kind of deal with it better. This will be a highlight stream, highlight video? We'll see. It, it, I, I, it probably will. I want it to be one. I want to do like a proper TLS video on my channel, so I'm blind. It seems like a good way to do it, but meh. It'll take a while to do. I guess we'll just get Spring Mean done as well. Spring Mean is mostly here because while Spring Mean can be cool, I have seen cool Spring Beans. It's another plant that only works in its own world in vanilla, and in most cases, its best world is gonna be Pirate Seas. For obvious reasons. Only working in Pirate Seas of all worlds, which... Is kind of already a very easy world, and even then, not even working all the time, is just kind of a trait. Instantly killing Gargs is really dumb. Really, really dumb. I think it's actually bad. It's actually bad. The plant food is okay. No. No, spring bean is really bad in vanilla. You can't define this thing. Use any other plant. It will do you better. More spring bean. That's kind of where I think it gets interesting. You know, I'm thinking we're going to do a poll here, actually. Because I think it's probably a good poll to do. How are we considering it's only in vanilla or are we including mods? Because it'll change some plant placement. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Though, Nat. I should probably clarify, uh, even if we are including mods, we're not carrying, like, mods which consist, which are completely rework plants, like... We're not including, like... Like, Kernel Pool's gonna be vanilla Kernel Pool, like, 25% burn chance at 50%. Uh, we're not- for Hocus Pocus? Hocus Crocs, where we are? Where we are this thing? We're only considering the vanilla version of it, we're not considering the backstabber version of it. This is Gloom Vine, not Bubble Bloom, etc, etc. Mostly just, like, considering plants working here. Okay, seems like right now we're gonna be just considering vanilla design only. Okay, then in that case, Spring Bean is intended only good in Pyrocees. It's only good in Pyrocees. It's kind of bad. It has, it has some strategy to it, so it's not boring to use or anything. Being able to kill Gogs is pretty funny, but eh. Plant food is also there. You have to use a really powerful plant food effect, but it wasn't nerfed because of Farina, basically. Then we'll check Palin again. I'm, I'm kind of considering power vanilla's design philosophy, so. I don't care about how strong Spring Bean is. I care about the fact that it's Pyrocees only. Like, Bumagranite is still gonna be a freelance re explosion with seeds. It's gonna be considered more so being like it's a cherry clone. That's kind of that's what we consider more than I guess. We'll see if we go along, but it basically means that a lot of plants gonna be a bit lower because I hate vanilla line for a lot of these plants. I really don't like vanilla and whole carnation for a lot of these plants. I think they're kind of lame. So, so we'll consider like what the purpose is in vanilla and stuff as well. Okay. They say that's gonna be a lot more negative than last time. Oh well. Let's get vanilla plants. Vanilla is a term for an unmodded game. We reckon we is way better than vanilla, only we lose one stat. I think, I think Reckon Levitator is actually nerfed a lot, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, so yeah, Spring Bean's kind of just bad. We'll move on from that. I guess we do Snapdragon. It's average or cool, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll be here for now. Snapdragon is kind of interesting. I, I like having an- it's like a very interesting melee option. Limited range pierce in multiple lanes is not bad. We're doing just adventure. We're doing all plants. All of them. So... Snapdragon is... Hitting multiple lanes is interesting as a plant, especially so early on. It's your first one that I can do that, but realistically it doesn't mean that much most of the game. It deals with damage as a good AoE option, but it does make piracies really simple because there's not many answers to this thing. Aside of it, it's solid. Yeah, I'll say it looks pretty cool. I like the inter I like the interpretation of Bong Choi, even though it is for the most part just better than Bong Choi. <laughs> they been modded, yes. Stop trying to modded is like nobody knows what to do with them. <laughs> I like the design. I think he's fun to play with. He works quite nicely with, like, Kernel Pool especially, which is always a good sign. They have like, a very fun synergy together and they can cover each other very nicely. If it's not very interesting, the video would be less suffering. Yeah. Okay, and let's move on. Let's go Free Peter, I guess. We'll do all of these. I like Free Peter more than Pea Pe and Repeater. A lot, actually. I think Free Peter is just a lot more interesting. I, I like plants which have an inherent set of weaknesses. A free Peter can't focus fire and like something like Repeater or Pichu they can. It's a lot more risky. A lot more risky. And that also was like generally speaking, it has a lot more weaknesses and ways to kill it. it like, Free Peter hates bugger heads a lot. But if it's pe for zombies every lane, it's much better. I kinda like that. It makes a plan have a more distinct, more distinct play playstyle and kind of more interesting. And also just it kind of starts off make starts making like some, like Synergy and synergy. Symmetry, that's the word. Symmetry and things less important. You kinda just you never put in like columns of things, you always put in like row two and row four. Maybe row three if you're desperate for murder. I, I really like this thing. I think freebie is like really cool. One of most I think it's a very underrated plan in terms of base plans go. 
But I also just kind of think it's still P should have <laughs> So, oh well. Okay, Coconut Cannon. I like Coconut Cannon enough. It's very basic. Very basic, realistically. This thing is incredibly simple. But it is a manual plant, and I do like all manual plants. Uh, you know, this should be more pleasant cool tier. I think Mario plants are always generally quite good. Konakan is definitely not the most original <laughs> concept for a plant, realistically. It, it is it is average for all intents It is like the average manual plant. But I think the average manual plant is still more interesting than most other plants. So you know what? It's fine. We can put it in cool tier. It deserves to be there. A cherry bomb. Uh, I really feel this needs to be an average tier. Actually, better idea. Hold on. Okay, squash is the average insta. It has no cool, no time to go up. It goes up instantly. It deals good damage to gantuas. It can do that job very nicely. It, but it is ultimately incredibly average. Nothing worth noting. Cherry Bomb is an absolute menace. I hate this thing on so many levels. Cherry Bomb is just such a stupidly powerful plan, uh, just conceptually. Removing pretty much all of the frame three area is way too much. And in vanilla, it, I feel like especially, it's one of the big reasons that a lot of levels kind of start falling apart. It's... It, doing, removing all zombies from the area every 35 seconds is actually absurd. Like, th this thing is completely stupid. <laughs> Who does do for 35 seconds of training was a good idea, ever? Like, like genuinely. Channel's the most careful, like, every little piece of tooth for me, so yeah, I don't have not brought it. Yeah, that's kind of my problem. I don't like insta-pick plants, and Channel was way too much of an insta-pick. Like, even then, I, even though I started mold, I just think it's a very boring option. If there was a repeater of instant plants, actually, these two are very similar and why they're here. <laughs> like, the versions of ad version plants appear, which are kind of whatever. But just taking it away, I don't think it's very fun or interesting. And I feel like Cherry Bomb is that. So I'll just leave it there. A Spike Rock, I'll put in great here. I like Spike Rock a lot. I still think it's fun to use, and it leans a lot more into synergy, which, I, which Spike Rock doesn't do as much. But it also relies a lot more on synergy. Spike Rock, you need to build around to get it to do things. But I think it's like a very fun plan to play with, and encouraging different strats is always good fun. Though Kirby Spam, yes. That's one of the big differences. And also kind of why you have to like build around a thing. John's too strong vanilla, but I think it's a good design to have a Grillabba Gower Jail plant. I, I like, I see, I agree with that almost, but I feel like it's a plant that does the job better. Fine warp. Which we'll get too much later. I don't like Chairman that much. Spike Rock is better than Spike Weed. Spike Rock is a much stronger plant than Spike Weed is. Like, there's a lot of power, yes, but I think Spike Weed's more fun to play with. I like the kind of very simplistic design. And Spike Rock is just. there. I like Spike Rock a lot. It still does a lot of damage. It's not a bad plant by any means, but. I like Spike Weed more. I think it's more fun. Okay, man, that's all the Pirate Seas plans done. Let's get on to the next world. Oh boy! Oh, Split P, why, why are you like this? Split P's job is to counter exactly one zombie in the entire game. Like, his only job is to deal with Prospector. There's not a real other zombie it really does anything for, like. Oh, but it technically hits boss swarms! Bosoms don't do crap. Two, sm two it's pterodactyl. I disagree! Splippy does nothing as bugging as the fossil heads, or bullies, or anything. It's just dumb plan concept, and I'm kind of annoyed they brought it back. Prospectors have other counters. I appreciate it that these are like some generic counter plan, but like. Splippy is so lame. It counters one zombie, and that's it. I thought like caves. If using bloody replit pee in frost by caves, something has gone terribly wrong. 
in the instructions, it's good enough. We like, really want to be sudden for Final Fantasy because nobody is it. Yes. This is just kind of bad. We all agree on this. Moving on. Should they been up on average? It's a very generic insta. Its stun time is an interesting trait of it. But it's also just kind of powerful. It's This thing is kind of secretly one of the best ones in vanilla. It has a really good stun up time, like a 30% stun up time total, which is good. It's a very powerful plan, it's just kind of, I don't care for it. I I'm not like excited to use Chili Bean under any circumstances. It felt really lame. If you want to go about lame routing, just like putting in Mare, I guess. I'm not sure. I think it, because it can't kill mechs, I'm less... I'm always going to put in Mare tier. If it killed mechs instantly, it'd be down, because that's really stupid. It kills... It kills some things. Bucket has kill instantly, it can kill... Can I don't think it can kill Pharaohs, actually. I thought it could kill Pharaohs. I have no clue if it can not. Hmm. I think just leaving this thing here is correct enough. Okay, I'll leave it here. I think I'll find a best placement for it. Uh, lightning Reed isn't... You know what? I I'm gonna shift the scripts. We're gonna put people up here first before we're doing Lightning Reed. Uh, people I kinda just like as a plant. It's a very simple plant, realistically, but I really like how this works. I think people have a very fun playstyle. I enjoy using this thing a lot. It isn't like the strongest plant in the game, but it's very simple. I, I like it plays very simply. It has a very distinct playstyle. You play a lot more offensively with this thing. It's very cost efficient. It has a it, it recharges an important trait to play around. It's a very slow plant in general, but I really do like it. I think it's like probably the best feature in the game. Actually, I'm gonna move it up. I think it's like one of the best attackers in the game generally. I really enjoy using this thing. I think it's playing as your top tier is correct. I, I love Peapod on so many levels. Peapod has become one of my favorite plants to use over the years, I think. Nah, people are only going to pile west. That's a coward's play. And this is not about power. <laughs> I think it's like a fun plan to use. It works very fun with minecarts. It's very fun without it as well. In worlds like Nemo Save 2, you can get some fun shenanigans up with it if you play it right. I... It's very, it's very distinct plan you don't have to play with, but I, I'm going to love this thing. Very, very cool play style. I, anyways, what do you... Where do you put Rita? Okay, we'll just... Do I... It's either in May or bad. I don't know where I put it. There's no way it can even go to average. I don't like this thing's design. Okay, here's my issue with Lightning Reed. One, is a spam to win plant. It is utterly skillless. There is no skill in using Lightning Reed on any level. It either wins or it doesn't. There's not much in between. Even when, even on my level of game, Lightning Reed just kind of either works or he just dies. <sighs> just toss Reed into the bundles of this. Okay. Okay, I think... I, I, okay. Do I, can I... I guess, realistically, it encourages a really bad playstyle. And as a plan, it's probably one of the main reasons a lot of players struggle at the game. Because it feels so strong, but it's so crappy and stupid. Okay, we'll, we'll feed every level from good point, actually. But worst here. <laughs> yeah, I think Sliding Read, unironically, is really hurting people's skill levels. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting it down here. Lightning Reed requires literally no skill. Everybody thinks it's good. It's fine. 
I think putting this thing down here is correct. I don't I don't think a plan actually hurts the game as much as Lightning Rage may have inadvertently done it. It's all that's It's a wallet but disables some zombies from working. There's, there's, there's no strategy here. You you don't play counter carefully against like bull zombies, you just you put him down and, and bull zombies are dealt with. Otherwise it's just kind of a, a strong plant. Uh, is that my two horse tallnut tallnut tallnut? Uh, tallnut is tallnut is really strong as a plant, but I'm not don't care about that obviously. Uh, nah, I like walls too much in general. I can't just like tallnut being here. I enjoy walls a lot. Tallnut is not in the mob. Yeah. I don't like how I to just counter certain threats, but it's a wall plan. I don't think it's enough to drag it down to repeat it here. And Melon Pult is an average attacker. I have no opinions on Melon Pult. Melon Pult is very average. It's a very standard, heavyish attack for late game. It has a fine roll, but it's very standard. Don't just say. A uh, Wintermelon I actually really don't like. I'm gonna put this thing met here. Wintermelon is just kind of way too powerful on a fundamental level. People have tried for ages and ages to get Wintermelon to be like remotely balanced. It's kind of balanced in Alvers and Flourish, but they've basically had to change the plans so much. Yeah, I know we're not considering mods here, but I feel it's more to note that Wintermelon kind of just isn't great, and I feel like. The fact that the only way people can even get this thing fixed is by changing the entire concept is a problem. I think it's actually not showing very well. I agree, but it's also not about that. This is about vanilla thing. I'm just saying we have to change it so much. We'll say retakes no skill but love Winter Melon. Hmm, kinda. Is it all incredibly easy to get? Yes, it's very simple. It's very, very easy. I'm gonna put this thing in met here, I think. I, I think just leaving this thing here is correct. I, I can't find anything bad, it's not like a plant you're not forced to use, you still have a play style of it, it's still like a strategy plant. But it's way too strong, and there's not a lot of ways you can fix it. Like, it's not strong in the case of, oh, it's over that in vanilla. No, it's strong because this thing is just completely broken. And especially in vanilla's meta, it is way too powerful. There's nothing to fix it, it's just because everything in the game makes Windermelon so strong. So I think just leaving in mare is fine. Oh boy, this thing. Okay, well here's another mare plan I'm putting right here. Oh, laser bean. Oh, laser bean. Okay, here's a rule with laser bean. That's very important to note. Laser bean immediately just completely outclasses Bloomerang in every single way. I think it's a terrible idea. Actually, I think it's a terrible idea fundamentally. Infinite Pierce is a really stupid trait, and Laser Bean is such a stupid... You know, actually, I'm gonna move this thing down, actually. Now I'm getting annoyed about this thing. Laser Bean has such a mileage of stupid traits. Laser Bean is one of the best DPS plants in the game, but it's coded in such a stupid way. Uh... Let me just everything in the lane. This includes, for some ungodly reason, zombies that are off screen. Laser doesn't care if you can't see the zombie, laser hits the zombie. Its biggest weakness is the fact that it hits zombies off screen, so it causes waves to come like a million a second. This thing is completely stupid. <laughs> And it's just it's a complete power cube of Bloomerang, which was like one of the first ones in the game. This thing is completely stupid. Mechanically, it's way too... Just infinitely PS, no issues, no weaknesses is... Not great. It's way too easy to build around. <sighs> I can't think of an actual redeeming quality of the latest being now I'm thinking about it. I, I hate this thing so much. 
Uh, Blova. Blova's entire job is to make knockback plants more powerful than they should be, and countering very specific zombies that usually don't matter. Blova's like one of the worst plants designed in the entire game. I hate this thing. No more elaboration. Nobody should like Blova. Blova being this low should not be a surprise. This is not a negotiable point. I guess Citron is next. I, I like Citron. Are we really gonna play on great? Hmm. Uh, eep. I really don't know. I like Citron. It's a very sim. You know, Alpine isn't good. Great. I think it's a good deserving great plant. Citron is just a very. It's a fun plant to build around. It's a very different plant. You don't get many plants like Citron in PZ2. It's very distinct. If you want a good meme for you, Citron, true. A Citron is also just kind of a very distinct plant. You don't get many heavy hitters in PZ2. You usually get like pretty rapid attackers that deal with everything equally. You get AoE, but you don't really get a lot of like single target heavy attacks. But do you really get like Kona Cannon and Citron? But I think Citron's more interesting because it's a very distinct plant, and also I just think it's a really fun design. I'm not gonna say there's any of your plans realistically because I don't care that much, but I like Citron's attacks, attacking away attacks. It's really cool. It's really fun to use as well. I I, I have a lot of respect for Citron. A lot of respect. I'm, I might put things down later, it depends on how these go, but I like this thing. Uh, Impy. <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. I don't like Ian Peach very much. My issue with Ian Peach is quite simple. Ian Peach is really lame. Far Future is a world that, for some reason, already has power tiles. It already has a gimmick to make the world easier. The, the issue with Ian Peach is the fact that like, I'm fine with some plants. Like, I think Perfume Stream is fine and interesting and implies the world great. Lilypad is fine. It, it's the for the world and plays interestingly. Tangle Kelp is there. Blah, blah. EP just has no reason to be here. It counters a single world? It counters, like, Z Mech and things as well in modern day, but, like, it's a, if you see a threat, you bring it. It's also just attached to a world that doesn't need Ian Peach. I... I don't like this thing. I, I really don't like this thing. You'd be seeing me doing this kind of thing a lot, because I know I plan on going right here. Uh, let's see. In infinite. Let's go Infinite. I like Infinite. Do... I I'm already putting good call cool into the grade. I don't- I think I like a plant small infinite. I think at this point I've kind of eased off on this thing a bit. I like infinite conceptually, it's a very cool plant. Actually, no, I'll put it in great. I think it's a unique playstyle. I think it's enough to put it in a great. Okay, cool, never mind. <laughs> I like infinite a lot. It's, it's a very cool plant. Being able to revive itself is interesting, though its trade works in a very stupid way, frankly. I don't like the way it works. If it has a heal, it can't- one well, that heals is very interesting as a role. Another plant really does the same thing. I think this plant food is very overrated. This thing, this wall, it has a wall, wall is like, thing dies immediately. If he does cool it off a drank, true. But the drank doesn't exist in Vanilla, so we're kind of able to look over it. At least that's my justification here. Plant food is kind of overrated. I still think this thing is kind of interesting. It works well, and the wall, as a wall spam plant, which is one of my favorite strategies, it's very fun to play with. And as like a semi-spike weak opposite, it works quite nicely. I like using it that way. Yeah. Should we see the boss later? Absolutely. That's not an issue with Fisherman Zombie, not because the plant food is good. Fisherman is just like an absolute problem. Anyways, we'll move on to the next plant then. Now let's do Magni first. I think I put Magni in cool before. I'm actually gonna knock it down here. Magni is one of the few plants in the game that is literally its own playstyle. 
Magni completely defines his own playstyle. It's also one of the best songs of Vanilla, but that's not relevant here, obviously. However, <laughs> I was kind of thinking about it, but legitimately, no one uses Magnifying Grass. Like, people only use Magnifying Grass because it's strong. I don't see people using Magnifying Grass because it's a fun plan to use. Like, I've been around for mods for a while, which I know not considering isn't like a real thing, but I'm using it for experience and such. Even Magnifying Grass is balanced. People really tend to avoid it like a play because just nobody likes playing it. Which is fair? Think it's over in top tier. Yeah, because my fine grass is broken. Like, really broken. One of the stats in the game, it's up there with Wintermel, and this thing is nuts. However, that's my main plan. Yes. True. I'm going to put this thing here just because I don't like its play style. It requires you to play very slowly. But, you, but, like, there's no rush to it. You have, you have control, control, complete control of the game. There's not that much. Ah, no. I don't give a damn about this thing. This thing's just kind of boring. Doesn't love that. Yes. Some version is already too easy in this game. We already know this. So I'm just making this history right. Uh, we'll do title term now. I'm just thinking great. Uh, no, not big. Great. Telltale of my fingers just has too many flaws to put in peak plan, sadly. My issue with Telltale at this point is really just the fact that you can't control if nothing shows up. In vanilla, admittedly, this is less of a factor. We were just concerning more to be dynamic down here, but. In vanilla, you do get a lot of plant food, but. It's a weed plant. And also, it's important to know that vanilla, most plant. There's a lot of plant effects that are like really good solo. So using a slot magni seems kind of weird, like, oh boy, let's, let's put, let's put the shadow shroom plant food and something else, because it's not stupid because it's not really a reason to do that, it's kind of because plant, plant, some plant effects are way too strong here. Bro, my name's Ben and Tyler turn up. Read the pin message. <laughs> Tile Time is kind of cool. I think it's a really interesting plant. It's one of those unique plants in the game, fundamentally. It does something no other plant really does. But, it does something no other plant really does for a good reason. It's really gimmicky. It's fun to use, and if it goes off well, it's one of the best rats to play in the game. But, uh, I can't burn B plants, sadly, just because I feel like food is too unreliable mechanic to build yourself around. Okay, Dark Ages, let's go. Let's put Sunstream in cool. Sunstream being able to grow is cool. Pulling turn of I thought yeah, true. I, I like I like Sunstream quite a bit. It's a really cool plant. I like the idea of growing. Oh wait, no we're doing vanilla! Oh come on, okay. Sorry. I forgot it's about vanilla. Unfortunately, Vanilla Sunshroom was completely plagued with the world's stupidest design decision. And I'm going to explain this very simply. The way growing plants work in work for Sunshroom is completely stupid and nobody thought it through. Because Sunshroom, the so Sunshroom grow time is incredibly fast for some reason. So, this is what happens. You get one production at the first stage, one production at the second stage, and then you finish the first stage of the rest of the game. That's all the growth matters. And I hate that. On so many levels. I like the idea that sometimes it gets stronger as the game goes on, but <laughs> growing in like a minute is completely stupid. Why would- why? Needs to go three times. It grows. It's, it's been three stages total. Little face. We're not we're in reverse. <laughs> if we're in reverse, it'd be completely pointless. No, I'm not using it to its potential. It's, growth time is that fast, using it to its full potential no matter what. This thing is too strong. This is like one of the best produced in the game. It's either this or Primal Sunflower. That doesn't even produce 2500, it just grows, yeah. 
If the timings was better, this thing would be far better. Conceptually, I like the idea of producing a guest stronger later on. That's the only reason it's not bad to you because of this stupid design decision. But, like. Uh, why did they give it the stats they did? A Puff Shroom is average. I have no opinions on Puff Shroom. Does anyone have opinions on Puff Shroom? Like, genuinely? Beyond it being cute? I like the nerf they did to it. I like the disappearing thing. That's a really clever nerf to make this thing more in check. I think we're just gonna leap off from here. I think there's no reason to put it here. But the future can look bad. Literally everything makes the future look bad. Let's be real with ourselves here. I'll leap off from in here. I have no reason to move it. I think it's just kind of whatever. Be this fun. Actually, true. Plant food is fun. N not for me to move it up, though. I think it's kind of too minor to put plants. It's too generic. There's not much to say about it. A fume shroom I like. I'm going to put it in cult here. I like fume shroom. Its range matters less than it should, but it does still have a weakness, and that's something I'll accept. Being pulled from the flood is a notable weakness. It's, it's, it's basically like it's been designed by actual people who know what they're doing. <laughs> it's damage output, I believe, is like slightly less, which is fine. It's a solid enough plan for most jobs. It's a piercing plan, so it's too powerful, but that's how piercing plants work. Realistically, is it has a weakness. Having a weakness is a big deal for a plant. Like, Peachu's weakness- like, a lot of other plants have weakness in like, oh, they can be overwhelmed by holes and things. For Flame Shroom, it can be countered by heavy stuff. Which is nice. So I'm gonna put a thing cool. I like- I prefer thing a lot over most of the pieces, because that's something to do. Oh no. Because we're running vanilla here, I can't put Sunbeam where it should be. I'm so disappointed. Okay. If Sunbeam was in- if we were talking about all mods in general, like excluding Reflourished I guess, Sunbeam would be here. I love Sunbeam and mods. It's one of the coolest Sunbeam sun producers. If you pull it off right, it feels amazing. It's one of the most interesting plants in the entire game. Unfortunately, this is vanilla, where sun production is actual joke. It's an actual meme. This thing is entirely useless. It is a complete joke. Does that mean I have vanilla? Yes. Something is not working mods at all. The only difference is the fact that the game is designed differently. Do another listen mod so you can't put it where it should be. I like some means concept, but unfortunately vanilla it just doesn't work. There's nothing to change that fact. It is so bad. Just use Sunshroom. That's all you need to do. Oh, Magna Shroom is... Wow, Dark Ages plans are incredibly meh. I never noticed how bad they were. Well, whatever. Magna is down here because it's really boring and lame. Its design is really bad. It counters, like, three zombies in the entire game that are worth noting. It, it, it counters Punk. It countering Punk is, like, legitimately the most important plant. Oh, sorry. This is fine. Against Punk is, like, one of the most interesting plants in the game for countering it. I like that synergy. It's very cute. But it, it just does that and nothing else. It, it is really lame. But there's not a lot to say about it. Punk, now what's the third bucket? And there's not much reason to put it higher on here. It's just a dumb design. It's just, it's just. Ugh. I'm not, I'm not touching this thing with a 500 PP poll. Anyways, big my beach time. Let's go. I'll put Leipan cool. Leipan is a weird plan to rank, but I'm ranking this thing based on the play style of it. Leipan has a lot of what big way beach. It's one of the most interesting ways a plant defines how world plays. 
I don't like losing a slot automatically as a plan that's kind of meh. Feels kind of cheap to me. But I really like how it interacts with stuff. Playing with... Having, having to worry about... Having to kind of manage how much time things can place on the tide and how slow it can feel sometimes. It makes the tide feel genuinely dangerous. Which is really cool. I like that. That's a fun playstyle. I really do quite like it. I think it can be a bit... Much at times, I think Bigger Vanilla is too difficult, realistically. I think it's just too much for casual players. The bad ranking is Bigger Beach mechanic ranking. Yes. Y you're not wrong. I think it's kind of, I'm gonna it cool. I like his playstyle on Enables. They could easily have done something else with it. I'm glad they did this with it. Cause that's kinda cool. Uh, Tangle Kelp on your hand is going in there. I'm kind of ignoring the fact there's Wall Exclusive here. It's just kind of a weird plant. The issue of Bigger Beach is that like, the lava biggest for us is going to be low tides, so we just kind of can't counter that. Which is not bad. I don't hate it as much as, like, Ian Peach or anything. It doesn't dominate the world or anything as an option there. But I destroying the Tangle Cop is completely stupid. It means that the mechanically is stupid. Realistically, it makes sense, but mechanically it causes problems. And because the tide is so weird, it's kind of strange. But it is a good, it's one of the few characters of service when they're going fast. There's a few backline for X threats that Tangle is really nice for to have. And it is one of the reasons I think keeping Fishman broadly in check. Octo's less so, because there's more of them, but Fishman are somewhat rare. So Tank Help is kind of nice to Kamesha, they don't cause problems with them. So design-wise, that's important. Tank Help's super buggy. That's true. I'm kind of assuming Tank Help works. Admittedly, Tank Help's been really buggy last time. I think it's because it counts Fisherman, which is one of the most dangerous zombies I've put in there. I I I'm glad there's a character most dangerous zombie in the game. Bowling, bowling, bowling is yes. I love bowling so much. Bowling is so fun. Bowling is such a stupid plant. It is one of the most bizarre designs for a plant in the entire game. There is no plant that has the highest skill ceiling than Bowling Bulb does. But bowling is really fun once you get the hang of it. If you ever just want to watch a zombie hole get melted, you run Bowling Bulb. It is hilariously good fun. It has a lot of fun traits. It is completely original, and completely shifts how you have to play the game. Bowling Bulb is a speedrun plant, and I love that about him. You get like some fun strategy, but he has some fun crap too. Got Tile Turn Up? Exodia deck! <laughs> it's awesome! My only issue with Bowling Bulb is that the leveling sucks. I hate the fact they make the leveling make him easy to use. Like, Bowling Bulb just is fun plan to use. There's not many plans in this game I think are straight up just fun to just use. Bowling Bulb is one of you plans I think just make decks fun. In Vanilla especially, I love this thing. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Uh, crocodile. We'll do Crocodile. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna put Crocodile in bed, actually, I think. I... <sighs> What other plant is quite strong? I don't think it's a weak plant. My issue is the fact that I don't think its design actually works at all. My issue with Crocodile is very simple. It's a plant that's trying to do two things but can't do both things. A crocodile is very good as an insta. The issue is... Is that... As an insta, it can't do its shooting thing. Its shooting is so bad. It's not very good. Its charging aspect is cool, and I think the charging aspect can be fun, but it's just the charging aspect. <laughs> Summer Fox gives me $5. Can we get can we do Tumbleweed now? Okay, we'll do Tumbleweed next as you pay for it. Fine, we'll skip a response to get Tumbleweed done. Crocodile's kind of interesting. It's a crocodile that makes low oh, HP fast worthless. That's true as well, as an answer is weird. 
We switch damage to Lincoln's Hala. We pretend to pretend to free extra damage doesn't exist. I, I think we just kind of gave up and trying to make this thing relevant. I think like one Gargadile ever in a mod that's actually made both sides matter. But even then, that thing was like completely busted, so. Ugh. If it's all I think Gargadile might be perfect because it's so applicable. Yeah, I think the plan is strong. I think you think Gargadile in most decks is correct. I just kind of wish the design was different. It doesn't do its design very well. That's my issue. And anyway, someone don't know if Tumbleweed, so we're doing Tumbleweed now. I I don't like Tumbleweed very much. I Vijo <sighs> Tumbleweed to me is a plant. And the reason why I don't like it very much is it's just it, it does way too much for a plant that isn't very distinct. Issue is, is that like it's inherently very RNG. It's a low back. It's a low back insta, which usually aren't there fun to play with. It randomly instantly kills things. It randomly knocks things back. It randomly stuns them. It randomly duplicates itself for some reason. Like it. Also, its design is stupid. I should, should clarify this. Actually, so people don't know this. Uh. I'll, I'll bring it with you this one, actually. This is like a good time to bring the wiki here. Uh, where's Tumbleweed here? I can't wait to get a million ads because Phantom sucks as a website. Okay, so. Is there a gallery page I can show you to show this off? Yeah, there is. Okay, so. Tumbleweed has three different designs. For some reason. <laughs> They are split by Tumbleweed's level! I am serious! The, the thing that changed design is a goddamn level! Which is really stupid when you consider the fact that Tumbleweed, as a C packet, is its max level! Why? That's like, actually stupid! <laughs> Who designed it? Like, if you look at these designs, it's so clear that this design is the main one I want to go with. It's the most detailed. Like, this design has, like, nothing. <laughs> Anyways. I think Tumbleweed's, like, really stupid. I, I, I wish it'd be better. But I really don't think Tumbleweed is really worth anything. But, whatever. You're allowed to like saying we don't like it, but nah. I also hate the fact that it works with Torchwood for no reason. That makes no sense to me. It's even a staller. It, it, it should not be buffed by Torchwood. Okay, well, finally, we'll go into the final Big Red Beach plants. Banana Launcher. Banana Launcher might be one of my most used plants just in general. I like Banana Launcher's playstyle a lot. I feel like to me it's a very fun controllable thing with a lot of like payoff and pivot like backwards and forth with your stuff. Its design is like absolutely iconic, I will say. But I think it has a fun is fun it really shines. It's such a distinct playstyle compared to most of the plants in the game. You do stall a lot of it, but you also have to kinda of manage how many you have in the field. You have to decide whether a shot's worth taking, just so you can get more damage out in the fields. And oftentimes late game, just being able to fling it everywhere it can be good fun. But I'll just probably one of the best manual plants in the game, if not the best one. I really like this thing. But that's quite a bit of a manual deck based around us, so. though. I think it's kind of true, but I feel like Banana Launcher is actually more fun to use, that's the difference. Magni is kind of, you play it to win. But Banana Launcher, you actually do tend to run other stuff alongside it. Like, you run oftentimes run stallers, you oftentimes run, like, other plants. If you really want to, you can oftentimes run Banana Launcher as, like, a late game support to, like, a cheaper deck. I think Magni is definitely stronger overall, to be frank here, but I, I think Banana Launcher is way more fun. I like this thing a lot. So I'm going to be using this thing. Maybe it's going to be other plants. Yes, but you never see people do that, which is kind of a problem to me. 
we're moving on from Agony because I don't want to be able to get clogged down this. Oh boy, want to hear a rant chat? Want to hear an absolute rant about the worst plan in this game? This thing is so stupid. <laughs> Guess you keep this China for a long save your chest and squad. I, I'm not including China because I don't know how the plans are Chinese. I, I barely know Chess does in China. Oh, well, they would. Hot Potato is an actually stupidly designed plant. My issue with this is quite simple. Hot Potato is... Hot Potato is like one of the most pointless tool plants in the entire game. The gimmick it applies to... It just doesn't work. It's meant to be a counter towards heating. It's meant to counter like freezing and things. It barely does that job well. It's cheap, it's free, but it only targets one plant at once and it can't re reverse frost stages. It's, also, it's just a complete waste of a slot because, especially like even if you're coming from before, you might have Lava Guava by now and Lava Guava already does heating for you. Peppled is just so much more reliable to use, even though I think Pebbled sucks. I just don't think this thing is good. You melt Octopi too. Nope! Melting Octopi is a higher level thing. I don't care if you can do it at high levels. If it's high levels, we need to be solving a tail start quite a bit. Trog is not helping my seas. Yes. Trog is not dangerous enough to make Hot Potato an interesting plant. But even then, if it was, Trog would, Trog would not be a threat because Hot Potato would completely dominate it. I, I just don't like this thing. This thing is probably my least favorite plan in the entire game. Is this Tetsuka the plan I like to hate on the most? Hot Potato is the plan I think is actually the worst. It is utterly useless, the design is stupid. No. Logo of the Healing, yes. Okay, moving on. Oh no, okay, actually fine. We only have all three of us are really bad. Okay, cool. Okay, we'll get the pebble out of the way. Pebble design is really dumb. Any plan to me whose main gimmick is that it deals with a world gimmick is kind of not in the best of grace already. For Pebble, like, it's a plan they could have easily made actually relevant. But they didn't. Presumably because they wanted to sell Fire Pea Shooter. But. It's just so stupid. Why? Pebble stats are designed in such a way that it's an almost useless plan casually. <sighs> I don't care about the recharge to be honest. I think being Pebbled a recharge heavy attacker would actually be interesting. Uh, in like, Mods like Ecclesi, that's what Pebble does. Pebble is actually really interesting in Ecclesi, even though it's powerful. Because it's that, because of, of the way recharge works. How does it should do flash damage? It does do flash damage, it does like five. I don't care about the recharge, I just care about the fact they just completely crapped on this plan and made it bad for no reason. It's a good plan to deal with heating. Like, it is. But outside of Rock Caves, it's so useless. It's stupid. They clearly just designed this thing this way because they want to sell a fire pea shooter. So it's just. You end up using every level, and it kind of screws with levels as well because it's a fire plan, obviously. So you can't use like chill at all, so you can't use Wintermelon, you can't use Snow Pea, you can't use... I don't like this thing. Moving on, we'll go for Chargon next. I like Chargon's design. I think it's quite cool. I think it's, be, I think it's great, I think it's kind of got some way, way, way big power issues as a whole. I think Chargon as a plant is... Has way few cap too few counters, but Jar's a cool wall. I appreciate the fact it's a very distinct wall option. Okay. Being intro adjacent is quite nice. I like and I pretty much always it's just good reliable option if you need to pick an extra planning deck. And just play quite well. I like the way he plays. The only reason he's not higher is the fact he can push back again, Schwarz, because I think that's actually stupid. Chargon should not knock back again, Schwarz. There's no real reason for it. It just makes Gantra more of a joke. Like, I genuinely think Chargon is half a reason why I get stupid. 
Chaga with aloe vera. Yeah, that's also another reason not playing as much higher. I hate that synergy. It is completely stupid. So, I think it's still fun to use. I like this thing a lot. Mega Cook, Mining Over, and KB is not a vanilla. True! But I just can't. But you can kind of like get away with living, though. You still have Stunny and you still use Primal Shooter. I just kind of wish they couldn't charge and do anything. That's it. These are going to be able to fight Gugs. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm used to being able to because I'm too familiar with the fact it can do and I think it's stupid all the time. Okay, Stunyan, go. Let's use Stunyan. It's just. You know what? Stunyan and Iceberg are the same plants. There is legitimately no real difference. Like, it's just Iceberg, but slightly better. <laughs> what? I get why it exists, and Stunning is a really strong plant if you want to win. Stunning is one of your best plants to pick, but like, why? Who designed this thing? I, I'm just, uh, there's nothing to talk about Stunyan, it's just a generic plan that does generic things. Uh, Roto's in one of these two tiers. <sighs> okay, this is my tier list, I'm putting this in meh, I don't like Roto personally. Roto is a very interesting plan, realistically, it has a unique range, and I do appreciate that, but like... Roto is kind of weird. I Its range is kind of strong. It can be a very good plan to use spam it, especially. It's another one of the plans that generally is gonna be at least good, even in terms of like Sasserize. It's not gonna be a disparate, I have no clue. I'm, I'm gonna find out when we get there. <laughs> Probably average, I think, at this point, but we'll see. I'll decide later. Sorry, but worse, the hitboxes work. I don't think it's whack. I think Sorry is the hitboxes are worse, but. If everything is strong, I think it's a strong plan, but. It's way too spammable and isn't really that skillful. I don't like it that much. I just know it's powerful. Rope plus work sliders. In that way, it's fine. Uh, it, it can't unfree itself, so it's kind of bad for that, but. I don't know. I think just putting it here is fine. Can we use more Burby? Yes, but that's not part of what I'm talking about here. I just don't like his design very much. I think it's not very fun to use. I also can't use a thing, so it's bias. Okay, Rip Resting. We're getting into the map plan here. Redstinger's concept is really cool. Uh, unfortunately, it, it kind of sucks. Wall plans, and pe wall plans, generally speaking, prefer to be at like column 5 or column 6. They don't want to be too far right, because then they get eaten by everything that they that do kill anyways. Unfortunately, the wall element of a plant is entirely useless. Its middle form is actually entirely useless. It, it, it doesn't work. At all. Like, middle form is use entirely useless. The defensive form is mostly useless and not usable in the possible way you want to be used for it to be a good wall. It gets our class by Pearl Nut later on, which job is to be a fast recharge wall, which is whatever. So really, you just use it as an older repeater, which... Okay, but repeaters are mere plants. It being an alternate repeater is not good for it. Like, like why? It's just a powerful repeater with no real reason in the fact they needed one. Well, yeah, I've got these plants kind of. So, okay, Aki is in the same spots. Aki is basically identical to Bloomerang in almost every way. The difference is, is that repeat, that Aki is just kind of slightly stronger. Its bouncing is slightly different, I guess. It, it technically does less damage to later targets than the first target it hits, but like, that's it technically. Realistically, the only reason it's down here is the fact that Bloomerang is was came first. If Bloomerang didn't exist, it would just be average. Its design is just kind of dumb. There's a competition. <laughs> there's, there's not many plants here. <laughs> this is a thousand bloomerang. I think it's about the same speed. 
the difference is that Aki is more powerful. Pretty much. It has technical differences, but like... They don't matter. Like, ever. So whatever. Enduring I like. I'll put something in cool. Enduring is interested, but... Interest... But... but Enduring is an interesting plant. I like the basic concept. It's a very simple plant, to be honest, but it kind of works nicely. I think another thing is to understand it, but I think mechanically the idea works quite nicely. A wall that attacks is actually quite interesting. It's a distinct shake on a wall, which doesn't usually exist. And does get a lot of utility. Being able to, like, deal with early game as a wall plant is actually quite good. In a lot of mods when Durian is made actually good, like Reflourished, uh... Like Reflourished especially, it becomes quite a good early game. And I do like that. I just kinda wish it was Bam Vanilla, cause Jesus Christ, why did Mega Scene kills 100 sun for less HP even Walnut? Wall attacks, okay. A wall that attacks in melee is a good idea. I just kinda wish his stats were better. But... I don't care about stats, which is the same as a vanilla concept. I like because of Endurian, it's going here. Do you prefer Shima Endurian or Tanky Endurian? A great question. I think I prefer Tanky Endurian, but that's personal. I kind of want to move Stolia up because I like him more than the other two. I like Stolia a lot, but I, I don't think I can justify it, to be honest. So, whatever is here. Stolia is exactly the same as everything else. It is, like, identical in every way. Okay, let's see here. Gold Leaf. Now, I'm gonna be done. You may think gold is down here because it's losing to the city. It's not anymore. They changed that fact. It, it, they, it's now usable everywhere, just really, really nerfed. This thing is actually really bad. Goldly produced gold tiles, which are insanely powerful. Functionally, as a map plant, that gets really stupid. In vanilla, the games don't last long enough for it to be as stupid as it could be, and instead, gold is just really bad. <laughs> I'm gonna change it like a year ago now, I think. It's been a while. So I'm just putting this down here. I don't I don't like this thing. I think it's completely dumb. Design-wise, I hate it. Being able to remove all your summon reasons late game is an absolute problem. Because that just makes you so much more powerful than you should be. In a long enough level, Gold Leaf will completely wreck shop. So I'm just kind of like I hate the thing design. That that's all. I, I really don't like it. Okay, this is gonna be a weird set of plants. Okay, let's go with Fat Beat. I like Fat Beat. Honestly, I'll put it here. I like Fat Beat for the same reason I like actually Actually I prefer Fat Beat. I think Fat Beat's more interesting. I like Fat Beat a lot. I will admit vanilla thing is way too weak, but vanilla wise, it's good. It's because it's, because it's fun. I like Fat Beat as a concept. I love I love a range of it. It has a lot of fun synergies. I'm kind of like considering like the flourish here as a baseline because I feel like for Fat Beat that's kind of where we got balanced to any degree. I think Fat Beat is definitely definitely a really annoying plan to balance, but I think that's a play style is quite fun. It has a lot of interesting st stats to it. It's a very- I like Gloomstream a lot. I like the kind of strats. I like- I like its synergy of Walt, I like its synergy of, like, Redirection, which is very rare. If I- no, he's in- oh yeah, he's in- yeah, I have to consider back to him here, don't I? Okay. I guess if Great Buster got really knocked down for being in ancient Egypt, I'll put this thing down into cool instead of great. That's reasonable. I think it's fine. You know, the is the wrong world for it, but I think it is an interesting plant. I think it's kind of bad vanilla, but I think conceptually it's fun to use, so it's up there. Celery Stalker. I love this thing. Celery Stalker is amazingly good fun. <laughs> I like Celery Stalker because it's such an interesting... It's a very... There's no plant like Celery Stalker in the entire game at all. It's also probably the only plant in the tour I think doesn't just suck in the tour and actually does something. 
Like, there's worse plans. I think Sporty was, like, actually completely useless. But yeah. Celery is, like, a really cool anti-option to a lot of targets. It's one of the most distinct early game plans in the entire game, which is important because, like, the early game is kind of where the game actually is played. Very skill plan. I... Sure, we'll say that. I, I don't... I think this is kind of cool. I like this thing's really fun. So this thing's sort of bad. Yeah, so people are idiots. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Like, Celery can solo like Kona's and things, re things reliably. It's, it's, it's actually nuts. It's actually one of the highest CBS plans in the game, which is stupid as hell, but whatever. Stats don't matter here. Fine Warp! I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, Fine Warp is currently no longer bound to be Nymph of Tyr only. With that in mind, it's also a lot weaker now, so it's not broken. Okay. Sir, please. Okay. Here's the issue of Fine Warp. It is a complete reset. That has a problem, because resetting the entire field as an ability on a plan in a mod in a game where, for one plan food, you can instantly use it is a lot. It's a lot. It's meant to reset zombie HP, but firstly Cherry Bomb is a plant that exists. And secondly, armors don't get healed. <laughs> they, they broke Fire Mob doing that. So the only zombie that really matters with it is going to be like Gargantua's. <laughs> and even then, if you're planning to find Mob up soon, it's... Eh. I don't like it. I think I'm gonna put it down here. I think it's me, man. I don't think it's terrible, solely because right now in PZ2, this thing has been nerfed so much. Like I think it's this. Actually, I'm, I'll I'll show you actually. Like right now, this thing's under sun with 90 seconds recharge, which is quite a lot. <laughs> It's been not a lot since the original. I think it ironically, no, I think like for Florify what was currently weak than this. Incredible. Regardless, this thing is kind of good. Kind of strong. It has been nerfed a lot. And I think especially because of vanilla, where levels don't last that long, I think it's fine. I will say I think in mods can go down to bad tier quite reliably. This thing can kinda of hurt the game a lot. So you need an I mean it's turn. Nope, that's a change. That was been a while ago. So that's what I thought. It feels like 75... It says originally was like 75 sun, 2 seconds recharge, I believe. Okay, garlic. We'll do garlic. Okay. okay, how do I deal with balancing? Garlic has the actual worst balancing in vanilla and it's not close. It's so bad, I have to put it down, because this thing is like one of the most actual atrocities in the entire game for balancing. Okay, so, garlic. In vanilla, it redirects exactly four zombies. Exactly four. It's introduced in a world where there's like, no zombies that actually eat. It... It, it just doesn't do crap. I, I, I can't... It's only in meh, because I do like redirection, I think it's a very distinct redirection. But it's legitimately that pathetic, but I can't even put an average. Like, I like Garlic a lot. It's just this bad, and just this poorly fought out, that it has to be down here. I can't even make any argument, any argument otherwise. A Sports Room will also put in meh. Design-wise, Sports Room is way too gimmicky for its own good. It's a cool concept. Uh, it does do a lot of things. I, I don't hate it. I just think it's kind of the gimmick is really unreliable at best. 
And in vanilla, you really have no reason to ever use it. So, like, it's a cool concept, and you can have some cool decks of it, but, like, you're never gonna play them. So what's the point? So I'm gonna kind of cut it. A Primal Pea Shitter, I'm gonna put... I'll give a thing average. Primal Pea Shooter is, like, a very basic plant. In the past, Dark Knight's only 50% of the time I get hit something, which is... It's 50% 25%. I think it's 50%. Thanks, you said. It does seem that 50 cents time hits something. It's a very strong effect, but it also does like very limited damage. It's a very good plan down game. I just don't think it's that interesting to use. It definitely is just like kernel, but kind of lose the point of it I like. I like the more reliability of it. This thing feels kind of way too reliable for it. Try not to keep it well. True. If it's well, fine. I, I don't hate it. I just don't like it. You and your friend, I don't like. Uh. Okay. Primal of Mine is bad. <laughs> I don't like this thing's design. One of the things that makes wall plants interesting conceptually is the fact that you have to rely on their recharge. Because generally speaking, with walls, you're looking for good value from them. Uh. Like, all of the best walls and mods, especially, tend to be things like oh, in at least Endurance is really good. It's got a long recharge, but it's 200 something if it has HP and does a lot of damage. Very high value. Very high value. I issue is, is that for a plan like Primal Wallet to work as a result, it just needs to be overstarred to hell and back. Which is just not fun. It's giving to counter Gargs is also just so underutilized. In vanilla, it only blocks three, which is not great. If it blocked more and it's more specialized, I'd like it more. But as is, it's just kind of like whatever. Perfume Shroom. I like how it's distinct the interaction of dinosaurs. I I'm glad it doesn't just completely remove the gimmick. I, I don't care to put anywhere higher, <laughs> to be honest. It's probably not going to the same tier. I think it's just kind of really boring. Like, we got Sunflower. We got Twin Sunflower. Now let's just add something in between. L like, why would you do this? It's just such a boring plan for a primal version. It's just like, why? Like, I think the design is cute. People really like it. Visually, but like, mechanic-wise, Whatever. Primal Tambine, I'm actually gonna put it in bad tier as well. Oh, I think over the years I've realized that Primal Tambine just does not work as a plant. In vanilla, Primal Potato Mine is just Primal Potato Mine. It's a cherry bomb. That's it. That's all it really is. You try nice something else, but then nobody uses it because it's such an awkward plant. Potato Mine works because it's a single target. Its job is to deal with early game threats. Potato Mine, as a primal plant, can't really do that. 3 times 3 doesn't really, like, give you much better value. So that I think is completely broken, which is whatever. I don't care that much. I just don't think this thing ever has really worked. Like, I've played with some Potato Mines that do work. I like a, uh... 50 Sun, Fairness, Race, Center, Damage, Mine. I enjoy using that. I like that. I use it a lot. But it's just not good. It's whatever. The design is cool, though. I like this design. It is. I like this Degasaurus look. That's all I can say about him. I realize it just doesn't kind of work otherwise. Anyways, last one's in the game. Let's go. Until we can do with a premium plant. Oh, we've got so much to talk about. Moonflower I have no opinion on. It's... It's Moonflower. I, I'll put Nightshade in the same tier. Power Nightshade is completely useless. Uh, actually, I'm kind of scared of Moon here. Okay, I'm going to put these two here. For, 
I can't explain this. Shadow plants as a mechanic don't really work very well. They kind of really stupid. It. I guess if Moonflax is like a main source of power. Okay, I'm buzzing in there actually. Thinking about it, because I really don't like the shadow gimmick. Moonflow acting the way it does genuinely causes a lot of problems with the game's design around shadow plants. Quite a few shadow plants are genuinely quite meh, or for also do really stupid things just by themselves. Because Moonflower is designed the way it is. Which I'm gonna argue is a quite a big problem. Because of it, a lot of plants like Shadow's Room really get screwed over. And because there's not much you can fix with it. Like, you can't fix this thing. You can't really do much with it, and it causes complete screws over like Shadow's Room, like, especially. Like, really badly. So I'm gonna kind of put something in there. Uh, Nightshade is an average because I feel like it's fine. Conceptually, it's distinct, though I think it doesn't work very well. The only reason Nightshade is an average is because its melee form is actually quite interesting. Without Moonflower, Nightshade has a very distinct job, and I quite like that job. The issue is, is that, like, its power form is so bad. <laughs> Nightshade Power does, like, not do a lot of damage because its fire rate is so low. It does a lot more damage in melee, which is where it should be doing things. And I feel like an early game is very good for that. But because the Shadow Form is, like, so bad, it's getting knocked down to average. Is the way Power Works are coded? Yes. Pretty much. Not much you can do about it. Okay, Shadow Stream isn't bad, unfortunately. I, I, I'm so upset Shadow Stream was designed so poorly. Shadow Stream's normal form is just an early game plant. It's very similar to Potato Mines, except a faster recharge. Okay. Whatever. It's functionally identical, except better. There's not many times that special will spawn early game, especially in vanilla. Its plant food is way too powerful and is a pain to work with. I know I said I'm gonna include mods here, but its plant food is an actual problem because it means means like Shadow Stream has to be kind of weirdly balanced. Mods in at least one case legitimately have had to try to find ways to make Shadow Stream actually bad, just so the plant food effect doesn't completely dominate the game. Like, it was like Splice Specialty, the plant food, Shadow Dream's plant food is an actual problem. But, a blood doesn't get much better because it's plant, because the power form is really useless. It's barely a shadow plant, like, barely a shadow plant. You have to use things in early game. Its shadow form is entirely pointless. And it's not about just doesn't do anything of note. Like, Plumfoot is broken, which is, Plumfoot is broken away is unfixable and not very fun to use. Okay. Sure. Um, Moon, um, Moonflower boosting does nothing for it because you can't knock it back properly because very few plants to actually get zombies overlap. Bleh. And his early game options just are the same as for something else, other plants that are just slightly stronger. It's not very important. It's not very interesting. Fun idea, but like, make it work, please. Oh, and something else with the power form is really funny. Shadow Dream takes like two tiles to kill zombies, so you can't actually power it properly. Because <laughs> you can just get eaten by the bloody. The moon gets eaten afterwards, which is like really bad. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna put thing down here. Dust Dust Lobber has slowly become one of my least liked plants in the entire game. Dust Lobber is way too strong, but there's not a way to fix that. The <sighs> okay. The important thing to know about Dust Lobber here. That's kind of important, and a bit of an important thing to note here. Dust Lobber is one of the plants that I've seen used a lot in mods. But I've never seen a Dusk Lobber that's actually balanced and fun to use. In vanilla, this thing is way too powerful for a sun cast. It tries everything. You can't do anything with it that's interesting because it does way too much damage. (sighs) 
Its power form is unfixable. Tripling your damage when next to power, which, when your other effects are, to be clear here, Shadow Shroom and Nightshade is actually pathetic. It is utterly baffling to me from a design selection. It's f you can't fix a problem, it's too powerful. As a plan, it's fine. But it's just too bloody strong. There's no solution to power here. And I really think the Shadow Plan Dust Lover is really poorly thought out. Oh, okay, actually, I'm splitting up here for a very sick reason. Okay. There's a reason things up here. We'll get to it later. Unfortunately, there are worse Shadow Plants. We're almost approaching a point to get to talk about those. Okay. Let's do Grim Rosen. We'll find up, finalize the main list. I'll put Grim Rosen average. It's whatever. Grim Rose is just a plant of all time. It's standard. It works fine at power because infinite range. It does have precise targeting, which is cool, but that's it. It's kind of boring, you don't do much of it. I just don't think it's very interesting to play with at all. But I don't like him very much. Read the rank base and what's pinned in the, pinned in the comments. Uh, pins coming. Pins in the bloody chat. So read that. Okay. Well, that's all of these. Do you want... What plans do we do next? Because <laughs> there's a lot of these plans to go through. I don't know if I have a song out, I think, because we listened to it for a while. I think this song is probably going to be quite bloody accurate. <laughs> well done. Uh, let's see, what do I put on? Do 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 do. Uh... Put this thing down a bit. Because the thing's gonna get quite negative because I hate a lot of these plants coming up. Okay, let's just. Okay, let's start off by doing all the, like, Tray Bomb clones quickly because we should probably get those done quickly. Pomegranates. Grape Shot is somewhere in here, I'm sure. Where is he? There we are. Is there another one? I think there's another one somewhere. Oh yeah, Butterboom. Butterboom is a one as well. I'll explain this when I'm finished with getting them all out because there's a lot of these. Why are there so many? <laughs> uh, where's the next one? Is there any more? I might be- I think I'm feeling like I'm missing one somewhere. Whatever, okay. What? If there's a lot of just Power Cruise version of Cherry Bomb, which are just Cherry Bomb are better. For some stupid reason. Pomegranate seeds don't make much of a difference to the plant as a whole. Grape Shot is just. Why? Completely necessary plant. Butterboom is actually stupid. What makes Butterboom so stupid? I don't know if you guys know this. Physically, for instance, explosion, and when it explodes, it'll but a two random tiles in the entire screen. And the tiles it blows up. Get two random tiles in a field of 45 tiles at a random, not targeting crap. This thing is really stupid, I hate it. But Boom is really, really stupid. You guys not know what- okay, hold on. This is why we have Sax God up here. Where's Butter Boom? I can't wait to show up ads on screen. I love ads. I want 72 hours in Belfast so much. Okay, let's see if we can find something I've used. Being used. Yep. Venture is quite soon here. 
Here we go. So that's what Buttermoon does. This thing is designed in a really stupid way. <laughs> Why did they design it like this? Who designed this? Okay, moving on. Uh, let's see what else we put next. Let's get all. Let's get like. You know, let's get more into that way. This thing does. I think like chills in the three uh, three tiles around three things around it, then like does extra damage in the tiles in or something. It looks ugly and has no point. This thing is stupid. I don't like it. Talatato! Meh. Actually, no. This is this is vanilla. Okay, bad. This thing teleports zombies towards it. Actually, I'm thing. No. From the here, this thing's... Okay. Talatato teleports three zombies closer to it, towards it. Technically, like, furthest left. Issue. This thing has, like, frantic range, so you can hit them anyways. Most of the time it teleports things it can already kill. Why they design it like this, I will never know. Uh, what else can we bring up here? Jalapeno. Really stupidly designed. This thing is just worse than Cherry Bomb in every way. There's like no justification for it, it's just really bad. Explode line is a Cherry Bomb that blows up twice. Why the hell is there a train that blows up twice? It technically is not bad, but it kills most things in explosions. It has five things recharge too. They designed this thing like an absolute moron. I hate it so much. I'm sure you can fix it with good stats, but like, even though this thing is so stupid. <laughs> a slow note I'm gonna put in Met here. Conceptually, it's fine, but the sets of Miller are completely stupid. The 10 seconds recharge is far too high, and being able to do the same amount of damage as a train bomb is completely stupid. She would cry so she would decide a bad vanilla bouncing. Okay, next up. What's next? What's next? So, I don't know what plans I, plans I think everybody can really kind of crappy down here. Actually, you know what? We'll just put these two down here for free. Skeddy Shroom is... has no point in this game. They recently buffed it, but it's still terrible. It is so bad. Its design is utterly terrible. It's added way too late in the game to be anything of note. Sea Floor is a laser beam that gets stronger in water. Which is the dumbest possible gimmick for a plant ever. You, legitimately, both these plants are terrible. The fact that I have this in the game is an absolute travesty. <laughs> I'll put Bean Sprout and the Bamboo Spot up here because they're the same bloody plants. Bean Sprout is basically just a worse version of Kiwi Beast. Uh, it gets bigger. It takes damage and does melee damage, but it's single target and it heals itself for some reason. I don't know why this exists. Bamboo Spawn has a shield and that's it. It's a melee plant that does way too much damage and for some reason does, does extra damage to grid items like 44 times damage to grid items or something stupid like that. Uh. It also does more damage when his shield is gone for some reason. Uh, that's stupid. Utterly ridiculous. Here is high bear because technically you can do stuff with them, but, but ugh. Boomberry is also going to be up here. Uh, Boomberry's projectiles hit the back target in the lane. It stuns targets when it hits them. Uh, for some reason, it does splash. It's one of the... why... I'm just saying it's never helpful functionally. Backward plants are very rarely any good. It's just kind of really, really, really not great. I don't like this thing. Ah, screw up with the meta, some people like this thing. Okay, whatever. As he's Zika, where are you? There you are! I've used Heath Seeker. 
I've used this thing a lot. I have to balance this thing on many levels. Unfortunately, this thing is one of the actual worst plants. Design-wise, this thing is one of the most finicky things to work with. It is completely buzzed. It's just a screen clear. It is functionally unbalanceable. Because I've got was like completely working the way to reject that bloody work. This thing is utterly terrible. I hate it. Dragon Brute is a shadow plant. So you've been in good Yes, that's why I know it's bad. <laughs> Dragon Brute. This thing is a shadow plant, like Dusk, Dusk Lobber, for some ungodly reason. When powered, it gains extra damage, does poison damage, yet it does less damage. On death, it creates three ch children plants for some reason on random tiles in the lawn that only hit its own lane. Well, the main thing itself is in all three lanes. Its damage values are completely out of whack. Like, I do mean completely. <laughs> Like, legitimately, why is it designed like this? What? <laughs> I I'm assuming he's corrected because I can't even use the down thing, but that looks. That like, seems so specific to me. <laughs> when power gains a poison effect for a single target, which is stupid, but whatever. Dragon Brute is horrible, I hate it so much. Oh, what else can I put here? A Team Tangler isn't bad. It's about the same as Greybuzz to me, except it's just added later for no good reason. Actually, no. For worst it is, because it's just Greybuster, but why they add it again? They made it complicated, they made it instantly kill everything for some reason. I don't know why they buffed it, that's completely stupid. Mega is such a lazy plant design on every level. It's far too broken for it to be anything of worth. It's completely just an. A, mo a nonsense machine. I... I don't know. They just really think they're broken, that's it. That's the only reason it exists. I refuse to believe it has any other purpose in life. Uh, let's see, what other plants can I just toss in there quickly? Electric Peel is essentially a fume shroom. Uh... It, it fires an appeal outwards and returns backwards in like four tiles in the everything range. It's basically just a fume shroom. If it touches water, it does a really weak DOT effect on top of it for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, and also if it's placed in water, it does extra damage. I also don't know why. The, the electric peel is a really bad plant. Why do they make it rely on water? It is stupid. Nightcap is immune to bloody everything for some reason because I code it stupidly. Uh, it does poison damage every hit. It, it's, it, it has an AoE range. AoE poison. Uh, deals far too much damage. Bad plants. Uh, let's put football down here. This thing is stupidly designed. This mechanic is really bad. Why do they design it like this? It poisons in a large area. It has, it's just a stupid plan design. A, a, a instant plan that deals damage across every lane should not be a thing ever. It's just bad. Uh, Cran Jelly has a unique ability. Uh, when it kills something, it's Created like a hostile beneath it that slows things down and does damage over time. Only created if it kills something. Great. They code this thing like absolute nonsense. They may this cran jelly. What they make cran jelly do for some reason is that it deals damage per frame it connects to targets, which means that it does like less damage on fast forward and slow down the normal speeds. For some reason, if you're on 60 FPS, it deals way more damage for no reason. <laughs> this thing is unusably bad. Why did they design it like this? A so new Tangler does not have a goddamn shadow.
I'm, I'm serious, hold on. This thing doesn't have a shadow! It just stands there. For some... R Why they not give us a shadow? Uh, functionally, this thing is also mean to everything, because of course it is. It traps always ahead of it, and then just kind of absorbs stuff from them for 12 seconds or so. It, it drains sun. Why? Whatever. This thing's dumb. Mechanically be fine, but they screw it up, so I don't think it's any good. This is completely riskless. It's really bad. Soul Sage is a free plan to do sun and placements. And can, can instantly kill zombies to make them produce sun as they go rightwards. But zombies can make other zombies also produce sun and go away. This thing is free? It, it gives you like a million sun? For some reason? <laughs> Why is it a plant? It, it, it looks stupid, its mechanic is incredibly stupid. Why does it kill crap? Pain. I'll see if I can get it, like, I think there's a bit of a video on ice cream here. There we go. I'm sure what ice cream does. We have to do an Navi ad. I love ads. Ads are the actual worst. Why is this lagging so much? No, no captions. Rhythmic digital music throughout. Incredible. Wow, this is just lagging an insane amount. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Ice Room is completely worked in the PC2. Entirely, it is wholly unique. For some reason. It's a melee plant. It has about it has like multi-lane range, I believe, so it's basically just called Snapdragon. Uh in this range around it, cold plants get buffed. Coal plants also being like the one kind of plant you basically never want to have multiple of in a deck because they all stack. I actually rather did that. That's not much better. <laughs> It buffs child coal plants for, like, no good reason. Why? It's a melee plant that buffs plants that won't be in the back. <laughs> Don't want to damage them idiots, but it's just stupid design. Vampachini fundamentally does not work. When you put it down once, it does its ability to absorb health as zombies nearby, but when the zombies are gone, it just stops absorbing the rest of the game. Completely. Forever. So it, it just temporarily absorbed HP and has like basically no HP at all. W why? Literally nobody I've met can adequately explain what the hell maybe does. That's not a good sign for a plant. At all. Buzz Bun is a crappy insta plant that does crappy insta things. A zombie eats it and just like starts zapping other zombies nearby for a bit. It is really weird. I don't know why it exists like this. Okay, I think it's all like I think it's all the plants here that are so obviously bad that they deserve to be down there. Actually, no, I lied. Mints are really badly designed. Like, almost all of them. Mints are designed above a single class of plant each. 
but the buffs are just so inconsistent among themselves that it doesn't make much of a difference. Why would you run any of these, realistically? Why would you run this thing? You don't want to have mobile freezing plants. Hanami's plants just like clear the field when placed, they're completely free. Sometimes like Green Fulton buffs give every plant plant food, which is a completely absurd effect when you got all kinds of nonsense on the field. The only, like, only these four really even buff, like, a selection of plants worth noting, but even then, this thing does way too much damage. This thing is, this thing does, like, way too much buff to, like, shadow plants. It's already way too strong. The same effect with some of these people, like, Speedman produces spike rocks for free, which is, which is total most levels in, most levels of the game for some bloody reason. Anyways. That's most of the obviously bad plans I have away. Just kind of going through them all. <laughs> I should, I kind of was aware that there was going to be a lot of plans which should be dumped down here because they've got no value. Anyways. Now let's get to get started shifting around to this stuff with some plants that are worth talking about. Bungie is a weird plant. I'm gonna put in Mare, although I don't think it's actually that bad. I just feel like being kind of polite towards it. Beyond before, despite that it looks really, really bad. Bungie is a melee plant that has a has like a manual effect if you effect manual effect of hitting for a while. Issue is the effect goes away after a while, and the effect is kind of strange. It does a lot of damage on the melee effect, but also like reduces the amount of melee damage that zombies do, which is like strange. It's by 20% too, which is not a small amount. It's a very strange plan, I'm not sure why it's even here. Let's go through let's go through some of our previous plans before we go to the end here. Apple Sovereign Average. I used to like this thing, I think now I'm just kind of indifferent towards it. It's very basic, very simple. You're running starfruit because you're running starfruit. <clears throat> Sorry, I need to get my foot a bit. Starfruit is like very average to me. It's not great, but whatever. It's kind of just generic. You don't really need to think about it that much. They're very much spam to win the plan. That's about it for valuable traits. I don't think what to say about it. Uh, let's see. Okay, Hypnoshroom. Let's do Hypnoshroom. I like Hypnoshroom's effect. I think it's a cool plan conceptually, I just think the concept doesn't really work very much. PZ2 is way too heavy for Hypnoshroom to be realistically any good use. Like, it has a few good targets, like Robocone is a nice target to hit, especially, but... It doesn't have enough good targets. So, there's not really a lot to talk about with this. I love Huey Boost, actually. I think Huey Boost is really, really, really cool. I love this thing so much. Huey Boost is just a like, really fun plan to play with. It's a, it's a plan that has a definition of having a weakness that's fun to play around. You have to actually play around it. You have to build your deck around Huey Boost's ability. But this is really fun when we get it off. It's got a really fun effect. It's really just one of the most fun plans in the entire game. Legitimately, the only reason reason that I can't think of to go against it is that it's way too powerful in vanilla. In vanilla, this, this thing does like way too much damage. But it's very fun. I do like it. Mistletoe I'm gonna put in Matt here. Uh, it's missile. it's like banana launcher, except it chills things. It's barely a relevant effect. I just don't think, like, Mistletoe really changes anything for Banana Launcher at all. It's just the same plan again. Alpha, Albert! Boom Balloon down here as well. It's literally just the exact same. It's, it can lay mines technically, but realistically those mines aren't very valuable. The most different trait about it is the fact that it doesn't have, like, a cool hit down time. As in, like, it's, you, you click something and it just hits instantly. Which is like the most relevant difference between it and banana. Laying mines is not very good. 
as a gimmick. It's just kind of whatever. Ah, I'm gonna put Shrink in. Cool. I like Shrink's effect quite a bit. It's a very cool effect. It applies a condition that basically no plan of the game actually can. It's a very distinct effect, but have a lot of unique traits to it. It makes only take more damage, but it also, like, kills in imps instantly, which is good utility. It can also, like, reduce zombie e-speed as well. The main, main issue with it, though, and why it's only a cool, and not, like, any higher, is the fact that it's really strange in terms of balancing. Balancing-wise is just... It's hard to balance right, and Vanilla's way too powerful, and Long Mods are just empty very niche, which is not ideal. But I love the concept. It's a cool concept. And I think it's enough that it's worth putting up here. Because, yeah. Torch I'm gonna put in bad. I've grown to not like Torch as a plant very much. The issue with Torchwood is that as a buffing plant, it basically only works with a set few plants. Cough, cough. And among those plants, it just tends to either make or break them in a lot of cases. Like, you're not using it like weaker plants that need the buff, like Pea Shooter or Debatably Repeater. You're using it for like plants like Pea Pod or Mayor Gatling or Free Peter. Plants which already have really high stats. I just don't like this thing. It's not very fun to play with, it's not very interesting. Just kind of whatever. I will just dump P-Vine a bomb tier as well, because why not? P-Vine... P-Vine, if you know what P-Vine is, you know why it's down there. If you don't know what P-Vine is, don't worry about it. It's fine. And plus Dog Best and Great TM. Strawberries as a plant has really grown on me a lot recently. The very... As a manual plant, it's not technically that different, but it's... Different enough in the place that matter. Unlike something like Coconut, it's very heavy. At full size, it tends to do a lot of damage. Way more damage than, like, any other manual plant in the game. But also, like, a pretty long cooldown time to, like, get lead up to it. But it's also just genuinely really cool. Its weakness to like being hit and just going away instantly is less relevant than it should be, but when it is relevant, it is very relevant. Which one of Chompa, Snoopy, and Torture is based off of? I'm concerned. Torture, I'm concerned the melee version. It doesn't make a difference to me. But Chompa. Oh god, I have to. We'll see with Chompa and Snoopy. We'll have to figure that one out, actually, as we go. Let's treat him now, I guess, is hell of it. Okay, post buff Snoopy and Chomper are both really bad plants. I don't like Ivan post buff. I think they're way too strong. Chomper, just being able to eat mobile targets, misses the point to me of what makes Chomper such a fun plant. And Snoopy was just made completely busted. AoE chill with a chance of freezing is way too strong to be realistic. I don't like it. But I think both his plants are generally... F Actually, at best, that would be like average. <laughs> Anyways, realistically. I don't like Kenobi that much. But Chomper would be like S tier if he wasn't for the fact that he's been buffed in vanilla. Uh, okay. For sake of Chomper, just because I want to be kind of polite and the fact we need more plants in the top few tiers. I'll put Chomper up there, and I'm going to say we're going to be bouncing these without the buffs in mind. Just because I think it's stupid. Snoopy's in Matt here because I don't like Snoopy. It's. It's just such a, such a standard plant that's too powerful. It's a very crutchy plant. It's important for levels like alphas and things, but. Ugh. Okay, let's get some other plants up there, which I kind of like. Witch Hazel is really fun. I, I, I've grown to really like Witch Hazel just like a ranged chomper. I, I like the like transforming zombies and like puffs and things. Realistically, the transition is in the pawn pod. It's also the fact there's a long recharge attacking plants. 
which is kind of a unique role, and I really do lo like it. I think, like, in Reflush especially, re which is one of my favorite plants to play, I love it. Very fun plants. I would Levitator up top, I, I love my boy. Levitator is just... I love this thing, it's so fun to use. I think we will kind of... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm ignoring the fact that it instantly kills things, I think I'm really stupid. Because I, I feel like I can't, because I, I want to talk about my boy positively, because I love my boy. Levitator, Levitator without being able to instantly kill things is really fun. I, I really like that ability about him. I'm not down a great because the buff sucks. Okay. Levitator as a starting clan is really fun. I like the ability a lot. It has a lot of unique traits to it. It's a, one of the few plants on its price range that can do what it does. And I think, like, especially in, like... Especially, like, like with certain plants, it comes really, comes really fun. Like, with Lazy Bean, it's actually quite good. Especially, for example. But, like... I just think it's fun to use. I like Spamble Stallers. He's very fun. That's what I'm gonna say. A Buttercup Alpen, good. Cool. I like I like Buttercup's concepts. Okay, Buttercup I like, just I think it's a kind of a nice solid. I need an early game wall plant. He's a fun plant to use. It's one of the other few like plants that are actually like good in modern games. Like it's, it has a good good utility to it. It's quite a nice solid early game stuff. What's the buttercup do again? And when zombies eat buttercup, they'll it'll burn them, burn them briefly. It's kind of a wall plant. I say is the best way to look at it. But it's PvP three. Buttercup was originally in PvP three, the early versions of it. It's currently not in those games though. But I like this thing. I think it's quite cool. I don't think it's great because it's kind of standard, there's nothing special to it, but it's a solid pick me kind of plant. I'll put Pauline cool, except that's too bad average actually. I can't just have cool. Pauline's got a cool idea behind it, but it's kind of way too powerful and kind of really weird to balance. There's not like a good sweet spot for it because plant food in general is. Not a balanced mechanic at all. It's very, ver very variable in what it actually does. So it kind of becomes impossible to balance. But I like, but I like Buttercup. I like Power Lily enough. It's still enough plants. No real issues with it. Hmm. Stab Dragon is a weird one. I like Staff Dragon's playstyle, call Staff Dragon's playstyle a lot. But I also don't think it's ever really balanced. Okay, I'll leave it up here, thinking about it again. Call Staff Dragon is just really fun. I like playing him a lot. Admittedly, mostly in mods, but I feel like for Call Staff Dragon, particularly, you can't have to rely on mods because vanilla wise, it's just Staff Dragon with better. It's a very boring plant. This thing is way too strong, but I like his playstyle. I like the kind of really standard attack evenness of it. Is that even an average? I don't think I can't put it below here because I don't think it's actually that bad. I think playstyle-wise, it's really fun. Hmm. Not even cool. I like it too much. My tier list, ha. Huh. It's basically impossible to balance this thing, but it always plays well. It always it feels good to play. So I think I'm just gonna put it up here. I like this thing enough. I'm gonna do I'll do Holly Barrier next. I love Holly Barrier. Holly Barrier's got a Holly Barrier's like a very unique plan among the manual manual plants, especially. It does things another plan the game really can do. It's like it's it's kind of like running thing these plants up here. <laughs> I love this thing. He's great. What's the barrier do? Holly Barrier has three projectiles can fire. Each projectile turns into a wall and placement, and start doing like damage and knock back to zombies around them. It's very versatile. It's got a lot of cool traits to it. Its plan mode is very strong, but I like that about it. To be honest, it makes it a bit more simple. 
I think it's really cool. I think it's one of those interesting plants in the game. I, I kind of just wish it was used more, to be honest. Uh, who else do we bring up in here? Hmm. I'll put Quaver in cool as well. Quaver, I think, originally was below, but I think it's grown me a lot as an altar to squash. It's definitely a bizarre plant in many regards, but I feel like it kind of works well together. It's a decent alternative in many regards, so I think it deserves to be up here somewhere. Its opening splash is a powerful trait if you use it right and can be quite nice for early game. Well, the actual burst damage can be quite powerful if you use it right, but you do have to actually use it right, so it's more skill based than a squash. So I do think I do quite like it. I think it's quite nice. Okay, well, who else do I bring up here? Gumnut, you can go up here too. Gumnut just feels really nice to play. I don't have much to say about it. <laughs> Gumnut is just kind of fun to use. It's got a lot of traits you can play around with, especially from a balancing perspective, which I'm basing it on here because I kind of have to. <laughs> Because the vanilla thing is way too broken, and I can't say anything about it there. I like this thing. Funny frog, yeah, I'll put funny frog up my ass. I love, I love Toastool. Toastool is like one of my favorite plants. It's just such a fun plant to use. I can't describe to you why I like him so much, but he's just very fun to use. And pretty much every deck he's in, he adds something fun to it. He's just like iconic to me. I, I love him. He just plays really well. His introduction element is fun to play around with and can create some interesting setups from time to time. And I just kind of like Toastal genuinely because it means a lot to me personally. Okay, let's see what else we can put up around. I'll put Nocturne average for now. Nocturne is a weird plan to put lightly. It's a strange shadow booster plan, kind of. It's an instant plan that like it's a it's an instant plan that deals extra deals extra damage if it's powered, like double damage. It doesn't damage of a time effect. It's incredibly laggy because of course it is. If it's, if it's over a shadow plan, it'll do, it like double its damage almost, I think. It like increases damage, which is interesting. It has almost like a... Uh, if it's almost a low HP, it has a chance to instantly kill them and blow them up. Which is an interesting trait. I kind of like this thing. I just think it's a bit lag and we in this is going to leave it an average for now. Chance are looking crazy. I think we all are. Pumpkin, I'm going to put Matt here. I, I've grown to just find Pumpkin really bizarrely designed. It doesn't fit easy too. It has... You only use Pumpkin with specific synergies. You don't use Pumpkin because it's a good plant. You use it because it's a good with like melee plants pretty much. As like an anti-ambush plant, Pumpkin really sucks. It takes way too long to get out. And without a move... Without like a mode like Survival Endless... Pumpkin doesn't add that much. I think just leaving it here is correct. I don't think it's worth putting anywhere else. A uh, gloom plant is just kind of a crappy plant in general. Uh, it's a power plant as a vine that deals fat beat damage for some reason. Uh, I don't get it. I'm gonna put Zoybean up here, and Met here as well, actually, while I'm here. Zoybean is a plant- there's like one of the hot takes on here, I think. Zoybean is a very fun- very popular plant. I don't hate the plant, I just don't think its mechanic really works great. The issue with Zoybean to me is that, because the way Zoybean is balanced, and the way zombie stats work, it is incredibly reliant on very specific, like, synergies to get it to do anything. 
Because zombie stats have like way higher DPS than they do HP. It's like they have really 100 damage per second, which is absurdly high. But they also die nearly instantly if you get eaten by the zombies. So you pretty much just like stick stunning on here, and that's it. Not much to say about. Like, I don't love this thing that much. A turkey pult is legitimately just an anti gog and something in that vein. As a plan otherwise, it's not that good. Not that interesting to me. It has like a very specific job and if it does it, it does it. Otherwise it just doesn't do crap. Alba Tiger has the same theory as Lobbying Pod. This land is way too complicated for its own good. I barely understand the thing. To the point that my strategy when using it is legitimately just like, it's a weird looking repeater. And that usually works. That, that's basically my game plan with this thing. It's not great. Head Belez, I'll just put in Meh as well. It's Bong Chai with Butter, which can be a cool trait, but it does too much damage right now. It's a pretty boring plan conceptually as well, it's not that interesting. Not much to say about it, that's worth it. I'll put E.T. down here as well. Electricity has like a really crappy, like, melee effect, which is just not even worth bringing up. When eaten, it does like an instant effect, which is just kind of... way too variable and way too reliable. It's not that fun to use for me. And it being instantly kill things like Gargs but Gargantras. Like mechs by eating it is just kind of not great. I don't like this thing very much. How about Media Flower and Average to you? No, that's a meh. Average. Media Flower is fine, functionally. Media Flower has like it attacks random targets on screen with several projectiles. Which didn't do like damage over time when it land, which is a cool trait. But it's very unreliable and it's just strange. I haven't gonna to use it yet, so I'm not gonna say it's mere cool. But I don't hate it. I just haven't seen it in action for some at some point. It also is not a Jurassic Marsh plan, which everybody seems to think it is, because it does something with Jurassic Marsh. Okay, what else? I'm gonna pass you over. I'm gonna put Goopy in call, actually. I think originally I thought Goopy was kind of meh, but I think I've kind of changed my mind on it quite a bit recently. Goopy's kind of got some cool traits to it. I think a poison effect is a problem to balance, but I actually really like the stackable slow effect. That's a really new trait. The way Goopy works with that stackable slow, which I think Reflores removed because of course it did. <laughs> Each time it hits it, the zombie gets slower and slower. And that trait is actually very unique, and I actually really like it. I like it more than the poison effect by a lot, to be honest. I, I, so I think it's actually kind of fun. I think it's a stall, this thing has a lot of potential. I really want to see people walk around with this thing more. I feel like the single target stall, there's some really cool things to play with, play with here. I would you to like, look into it more. I play with all the pit a bit, but I've really enjoyed my time playing with all the pit. It's a very, I kind it's it has like a bunch of traits, but really the most important one is that it's a ground-based trauma plant. I like that. That's fun to play. Very simple plant. You get pretty much how to play it almost instantly, but it just kind of plays fun. I really like this thing. It's really good. I've, I I'm a I'm an absolute suck for instant kill plant, so I've noticed. Who next? I'll put Fire P in there. It's just Repeater, but but again, made to counter Frost by Caves. It is the most generic plan in the entire game. I'm gonna put Goldblum in bad. I don't like Goldblum's design very much. Goldblum just kind of ends up killing in the early game and not much else. It, it's just. 
It's one of those parts that make the game less fun to play, I find, because it kind of removes a lot of the fun part of the game. And it just gives you, like, a lot of resources immediately. It's not great. I don't love it, but whatever. I guess it's not even that bad. I'll put it in Matt here. It's not as bad as, like, E.T. or something. I just don't like this thing very much. How about Blastberry on average? I'm not against volume plans existing, but I just I think Blastberry is just kind of whatever. Is Tracer weird to play with? It's... It's an AoE thing, but as a result it tends to need to be quite low damage to justify the fact it's an AoE vine that takes no space. Okay. I mean, just leaving Vissy is fine. I, I don't think people really care about Blastberry Vine that much. But I think it's alright. Just fine. Bramblebush I really like, but unfortunately Vanilla screwed it up. The issue with Bramblebush in its current state is that they coded it so that it removes armor. Which is very strange. Bramblebush as a plant captures individual zombies, so to me, removing armor kinda removes that element of the plant a bit. I think, like, if it didn't remove armor, Bramble becomes a very distinct plant. It's a very distinct, like, sample staller thing. You put down a zombie that you can't deal with right now, and it just, like, holds them in place. If it didn't remove armor, I would like it more. A lot more. But unfortunately, it just kind of kills the plant's enjoyment for me. Like, most of the tangy zombies in the game are, like, armor 4s or bucket heads. Like, brick heads or bucket heads. So, removing armor is just kind of a bad trait for it. I don't like it. Think about Lumberland your mom made you happy. Knowing it's not a hard code issue. Okay, we worked around is awesome. Uh, sure. That kind of is how it works. Brownbush kind of was a really problem. Big problem to kind of get to do that, but yeah. That's cool. Amazing future on Go for what you want. Now, what more do I like to? I like stun plants. And another mortar to me, while this line doesn't really say what it does very well, I think just being, being like a plant that can work in interesting ways like that is cool. Having stun is fun, having stackable stun is even more fun, having multi-lane stun is a really distinct role. I think it's quite fun, I like this thing quite a bit. I'm also just kind of give it a fire pad, which is fine, it just doesn't look like it's just stun to be honest. This design is kind of weird with its ability. But I'd like it enough. Color palette seems stuff on average. I'm not. Color palette to me, I don't love because it is just kind of weird as a plant. But some people like a thing, and that's fine enough. I'll leave believe it in that average of that. I don't know if it's a big fan of the plant, but I see enough people like it. I'm just gonna kind of leave it here. So we're gonna leave it in here. It's also, like, notoriously a really good plan arena because zombie leveling is badly designed, but that, that's the difference. A lot of people do it, take one takes in this thing. It's, just, it's, very, it's like a semi popular plan to include in mods and things just because. I just tell my kind of been correct. No, I'm not really. It's like, Eclipse and Alvers, I don't want to do it. I don't even have a close line, as thing being said. I'm going crazy, chat. <laughs> oh well. It's fine. Uh, let's see what else I'm thinking bringing it. I, I brought Slimpy. I love Slimpy being cool. Slimpy is a cool trait. Succeed with traits. I like the way it splits its shells, honestly. It's a very unique pea concept taking a pea plant in a way that I do like. I like how it like, focus fires and things spreads out. It's a very fun little, fun little thing. I thought like multi lane plants go. It has the most interesting visually. So I like it. I appreciate it. Very simple one there. Snappy, I'll put in meh. Snappy just seems kind of weird to me. I prefer Toastal over it, which is a weird comparison to first. Snappy's projectile of fires rarely does that much. And if it doesn't kill a target immediately, it'll just instantly kill the target it was trying to shoot at anyways. Ah, uh, whatever. I think Snappy is just going to leave here. I don't... Hate it, hate it. I just think it's kind of whatever. 
I feel like I, just feel, I think it's because I have a love, love for like Toso and Champa, so I don't need another one. I, don't, I just don't get Snappy playstyle. Don't like it very much. Drafted is just going straight into bad. Drafted deals stuns targets that hits. If it's hitting a flying or small target, it I can just instantly kill them, and it just casually just slows down all flying targets by a crap ton. I, I don't know why it exists. It's like. It's just a strange concept for a plant. It slows down the things that once they have to instantly kill them, for start, which is just a mechanic of all time. It stuns targets down, so even those targets trying to, trying to get in the front just keep falling behind if they can't kill them instantly. Yeah, no, I, I don't think Draft has much defensive, defensive play teammate for it. I'm gonna leave Levitate. I'm not gonna bring Levitate. I'm just gonna leave Levitate. Uh, Levitate. Imitator and Marigold, not Ryan, because they both are weird plants. I slay Imitator last, I think. Okay, let's do. Inferno is a plant. Of all time. I don't. I don't have much opinions on Inferno, honestly. It's just a plan that shows up a lot in mods because people like the way it looks. Well, you too. I think nowadays it's kind of gone off a bit, but... Inferno does a bunch of interesting traits. It's an interesting, like, melee knockback, kind of. No, that's like a... not melee knockback, that's the wrong word. It's a key interesting single target knockback. It does a decent chunk of damage over time, which is a unique trait. In Alphurst, it does have a melee thing where it goes like really fast to start, which is really fun, but I'm not talking about it. First, also good, I'm loud, true, but most plants are. I'm trying to ignore the treat. Refresh Furnace Fun. Yeah, I'll, I'll even average. I don't like this plant too much myself, but it's fine. Nothing really wrong with it. I don't use it if I don't have to, but I appreciate it's not that bad. Luckily, I'm gonna put Endurian. I, I like Blockly like I like my Endurian. So yeah, very very similar plants functionally. Blockly can like stun targets with with like shields. It's a just it's, an, it's like a little trait. Quite cool. It's a little jank what you can do. When moving on a minecart, I believe it just straight up resets, which is <laughs> game desires my passion, as you may expect. I like the thing. I like stunning. Stunning is always kind of cool. He also has fisherman, which is not bad. That, that, that's true as well. Carrying fisherman is never a bad trait. Hot date, I'll put in Matt here. Hot date just kind of doesn't have a job in the game. It's one of those plants which I've noticed really struggles to have a job. The closest ever had to have a job was in Requiem, where it did something slightly different, where it just plant food in place to be a better redirector, but... It's just a weird plant. Yo, Ridrang Zombie's into it, so... Ridrang Zombie for a Jalapeno Explosion? Sure. But... It heals for some reason. It, it has, like, a wall enough HP, I guess, which is okay. It's a bit powerful, obviously. Full Jalapeno Effect seems a bit much. I like it a lot in Alpha. I like it a lot in Requiem. I think it has a fun role there because of how it works there. But that's really it. I'm not a, not like a massive fan of it. Feathers are also so yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know why they make they made how they make that noise, but it sure is. Current is super cool. I love him. Current is like a plant that is kind of not great in vanilla, but so consistently once you learn how to use it, it's so fun. I love this thing. Current just has to be the cause of some of the most whack strategies in the game, but it's just so fun. Like, it counters prospects really well in multi Ecclesi for you. You just like to abuse some levels a lot, like 17.9 in that mod. In vanilla, you, in vanilla. In Outburst, you can kind of use it to just kind of counter a lot of things, just. Slap it on. You can use redirection. You can just use peapod. You can use whatever you want. It is down to you.
In terms of time, I still face some wild west boss. Yeah, but all the boss is kind of bad, but whatever. Um, what plan do we do next? I think we could call it a little plant I kind of really like. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, well, we'll get these done. Escape route is sucky. I hate playing with him in every way. He's so gimmicky and weird to use, and functionally rarely has an actual job. Pretty much nobody knows what to do with escape route. You can kind of tell that because there's never really anything. It's just a plan of all time. I just, I, I'm sick of using this thing, to be honest. Here, here, because of at least SM set 19. Fair. Uh, let's see who's next. Yeah, we'll do Jacko. I like Jacko enough. I'll put out Jacko and Cool. Despite that it's not manual anymore and won't ever be manual again, I like the design. Being like a birth attacker is an interesting role. Not many plants really do that. It's a it's totally fun to use. This damage output is oftentimes quite cool and wacky in a fun way to play. Its visual, its visual design is quite solid. I love the design of Jackaline a lot. I think it's like one of the most solid plan designs. It's very obvious what it does immediately. And just like a Jackaline of fire is nice. I like the thing. I like the thing. Uh, this is uh, the auto, by the way. Manually be up here. I like I manually love Jacko a bit more, but I actually quite like auto ja Jacko more than I thought I would. It's still a cool plan, it's just kind of not what I want it to be. How about Sticky Bomb Rice on average? This thing is a weird plan. It has some weird flaws, but I'm not sure what it's trying to be. But it's not bad, it's just weird. So, Sticky Bomb Rice is a staller plant that becomes a worse stall the more of them you get, but deals a lot more damage when you get more of them because they just kind of explode each other. I guess. It's. I, I don't know how to explain this thing. It's a strange plant. I don't. Strange plant I don't really hate. It has some weird traits I don't love, but I'm not too familiar with this, but anywhere else. Okay. Guess I'm bringing S. Ghost Pepper is just kind of a really nice Insta plant. I like Ghost Pepper's Insta. It's one of my favorite Instas. <laughs> There's a lot of strategy to it because it has the ending explosion, which is very fun to make use of, and its base form is kind of fun to try to figure out. Trying to use Ghost Pepper correctly is one of the most fun things in PvZ2, I find. It's pretty much all, you also find like a lot of my de decks that all tend like sometimes just ha go to a spot like Ghost Pepper. I, I like this thing a lot. It's one of my go-to plans when I'm just trying to just deal with crap. It, it's one of the best plans to deal with crap, essentially. <laughs> I like him. Uh, not with him. Good time base, yes. Good time he's indeed base, thank you for all for agreeing with me. <laughs> I'll put Aloe in a bomb, you have to know why we put a plant down here. Aloe is so poorly thought out. Aloe is practically never helpful. It's a plant that has very specific uses. And oftentimes you'll never use it unless it's actually breaking the game in half. Cough. Charge guard. Cough. Against wall plants, it doesn't heal that much. And even if it did, wall plants tend to go fall down to gargantuous more than just like dying. And a tile behind the wall plant is usually the best tile in the game. So putting an aloe there just seems like kind of a waste. Child Guard Synergy is also completely stupid and causes a lot of problems. Aloe can fully heal Child Guard's leaves, which means quite often it just, like, can't die. Which is not great. There is a common rework of this thing where it does this plant food effect on placement, which makes it a lot better. I really do like that rework. But that rework is not here, so... Oh well. No overheal for you. How about Sapling? Cool. I like having a dedicated stall plant. Saplings are nice dedicated stall plants. 
It takes up space and is but takes space is quite cheap. It has a lot of fun to you with early game plans like celery. And if you pull it off right, I like I think it can work quite nicely in a deck. It's usually quite cheap as well. Like it feels like 75 sun right now, which is very cheap for 50% slow. It's a really cool plan, it's just the higher because it's very, very simple. Uh let's see, who's next? We'll do peanut. Meh. I made a video on Peanut, you all know why Peanut's here. It just doesn't really work. It's not high because I think it's funny. Uh, pass the ball to put in Matt here. That's it, I'll put Wacko in here. I'll put Poo Wacko a bit. I feel like Wacko just kind of doesn't... No, no, actually, no, it makes sense to put both here. Okay, never mind, actually, I can my mind just every 10 seconds. Pass up is just a crocodile, but still doesn't work. His charge doesn't go off in a lot of cases, so it's just kind of weird. I don't like his charge very much, but charge is just kind of... Charge... It's not great. It's a fairly strong plant, but charge is just kind of not helpful towards a plant and usually gets very forgotten. Which is a shame, but oh well. The impression of Gordel's is just Trump of whether he uses a suicide bomber half the time. So I'm curious why one is peaking and the one is bad. Ah, it's quite simple. Guacodile, the thing with Chomp is Chomp has a few other uses he can do. While you can use an Insta, it also has like a good value as an early game support option. It's quite good in like taking up key threats if you play around and build around it. And even then, it does unique stuff that no other plant really can do. It's the cheapest way to instantly remove a zombie, for instance. Guacodile is a Pichu that's worse. You don't really want to deal with Pichu that much. Pichu type it, and generally Guacodile just becomes your 5 seconds recharge Insta plant, because that's the strongest part of it. Chomper is higher because you can do more of it. Crocodile is low because there's not much you can do with it. I don't know if there's running mint plants. I'm just putting these plants in here based on what they buff and things. Like, these plants generally buff for a very plant version of plants that can kind of work together. These ones don't or have a broken effect. That's the difference. I'll put cactus in meh. I don't like cactus that much. A cactus always has an identity crisis to me where it's not clear where it should be at any given time. Its shooting aspect tends to be stronger than a spike weed, so you want to put it in the back usually, but... The spi not being able to use a spike weed element means you're not using half a plant, so you want to put it in the front. And it just becomes kind of weird. Generally, I think it's correct to just use it like a pea shooter that's stronger. It's just a weird plant. It's less bad when you think of it like, oh, all plants go in the front and not at the level of play I have, but at that point it just comes a really confusing plants. Cactus usually ends up being like a uh, semi-melee plant of results. Either that or just like the shooting part is much weaker so you want to use both sides more effectively. Even that's usually quite bad when it does that. Ah, but good, blooming hard on average. Blooming Heart is a cool concept and idea, but it rarely actually matters. People don't use Blooming Heart ever. It just doesn't feel great to use. It feels really weird. It does these things as heavy targets, so usually just goes everything as a result, but it's just... Eh. People don't, people don't use this thing ever, and there's a reason for it. It's just kind of a weird feeling plant. It doesn't feel great. But you find out they're correct. I'll put Rosabi in meh. It's just the long shot it hits backwards. It's gonna increase range, which is cool, but after some of the melee plants go, it has like no real interesting qualities to it. I don't care for it that much. And because I always was one of the most forgettable plants in the entire game, I think it's one of the easiest plants to just not remember. It's Wasabi Whip. Like, it's up there like blooming blooming hard for like one of the most forgettable plants in the game, I feel. Ah, Ice Bloom I'll put in. Oh, cool. I like Ice Bloom's ability to turn zombies and ice blocks. It's a very unique ability. I appreciate that quite a bit. If Plant can do something interesting, I like it. I'm not gonna put it above cool though, because I don't actually use it that much, and I think it's tempting kind of gimmicky. And, to be honest, it's not a plan for me really, but I appreciate the concept enough and I'm gonna put it up here. Turning zombies and ice blocks is cool. That's a really fun trait. I can appreciate that. 
Pie, I'm just gonna put in bad. Pie vine makes no sense. It's a melee vine, but it completely removes Frostbite Cave's entire gimmick from existing, which is not good design. It's uh, it's just a weird plant. I don't I, I don't know how to explain it. I just don't like him. It it it, it can't be included because it just completely wrecks wrecks the world, which is. Eh. Okay, well, I'm putting. I ended up st seeing stream table potato ball. My life's been ruined. I'm considering vanilla table potato here. The fact that it's stream vanilla is a problem. One of one table potato is actually quite cool in base, but unfortunately it doesn't have that. Dandelion, I'm gonna put an average. It's just whatever. The Bluff and Hercules synergy is cool in theory, but you never use it. Ever. Legitimately, when do you ever use this thing? Like, why would you ever use it? Daily Chain! It's another meh plant. I don't like it. The issue of Daily Chain for me is that I just don't like the way it grows. It, it just doesn't... You can't make it grow for long enough to matter. And it's, it's just... It just feels so confused. If its stats would change differently, or like it'd be grow different times. If it get, if it growing and the like puff of smoke wasn't at the same time, maybe I would like the thing more. But as is, it just has to grow too soon for the smoke to matter. And we don't want the smoke to matter. It just doesn't work very much. It just can't become a solar anymore. So it just becomes a standard attacker, which isn't what it should be. Daily chain. I like Requiem and Decrease Daily Chain to like. I like those more than the base one. I don't hate, hate Alvarez's one either. I believe that one makes up of a stun thing by the final phase throws like three projectiles, so it goes like three times as fast to final to like grow to more like smoke, which is nice. I like that. It's that's just like a weird workaround and not something vanilla. Impair is also just heading into Mertia. Impair is just chili bean, but again, but slightly worse. I, I don't care for this thing at all. It, it is a really dumb plant. <laughs> it's hard to justify it too. I don't know why you'd ever use this thing. Everything in a mod, I mean. Like, it's just... Why? <laughs> Dodge Oak, I'll put an average. It's an absolute travesty that vanilla doesn't have multi-lane range. It's solid in World like Big Way Beach anyways, because there is some backline for us to hit anyways. I just much prefer it being multi-lane range. And it's not that, it's just kind of average. Not much to say about it. Critical are also a really dumb mechanic, but whatever. Let's do eBerry next, why not? I'll put eBerry in cool. I like eBerry's gimmick quite a bit. Very simple. Very obvious how to use it. Still just solidly good fun. It's like a, it's it's not a very powerful plant historically. It's usually a very bizarre one, but I like it. It's fun to play. I like Eberry decks quite a bit. Why well, prompting mine in bad? Check the pin comments. Almost done now. I've only like this one last grow to do. Sweet potatoes and average. I don't care for it. As far as redirectors go, it's whatever. Most directors are just kind of whatever in PZ2, but not that good historically. Super Potato is just kind of a redirector. It's a very basic redirector. Not much to say about it. I don't care for it that much. Humphysal Average. It's a complete... No, it's meh. Humphysal is an actual, just complete, like, noob trap as the plan goes. It's, an, it's like Lightning Raid in a lot of regards, except way less bad, where it's really, really bad for just keeping people still being bad at the game. It removes the importance of, like, placement, like where plants go, and ensuring that you're actually building up individual lanes when and when they when and where they need to be. Pomfield can takes it away, and historically isn't that good. <laughs> I don't like the thing that much. It just kind of is a plan of all time. Realty not that bad though. Lining Raid is way worse for it because my people use Lining Raid and Hunkers will generally does not have great damage. 
So you can get off it a lot quicker, but sometimes you don't, and it becomes a problem. Who else? Who else are you bringing here? Salt man, I'm putting in meh. It's a, it's a cool concept for a plant, it's just like really weird to manage. Most of the time, there's enough songs as long as the salt may be really good. You usually have the sun to deal with them anyways. The sun time is a strange trait that I assume is meant to make up for this, but... Ah, no. My stun doesn't feel that impactful to a plant as a whole. And usually soul to just exists. Not what to say. Ultimate, I'm, I'm somehow putting an average. The console tomato is interesting. It's one of the only plants that go up and cost the more you place. That is... No, actually. I'm putting cool, actually. Okay. It's one of the few plants that goes up in value the more you place down to them. Which is a very neat trait and forces you to play in a much more sunbrush and heavy way. I don't love the plant, though, for a few reasons. Mostly being the fact that it is an actual 9 meta bounce. But I'll play with that. Okay, the plant is actually really funny. <laughs> The thumb is really funny, but really, really bad for a plant. That's fair. Filled with it, yeah. He's, a, he's the ultimate heavy plant. I like that, but I kind of just... He kind of becomes way too too quickly, and usually your 30 phases become way too powerful if you're not careful. So, whatever. I don't care. I'll put EP in there. Electric Peach Shooter is a plant that sure does exist. This is my running theme for criticism of these plants I've noticed. The Electric Peach Shooter is a very flashy plant, but also just an absolute nightmare to work with from a like technical point of view. Like, pretty much no mod except for like one has ever managed to get an Electric Peach Shooter that feels actually balanced. And even then, that it barely is that mod because it just becomes very unreliable as a result. It tends to have to be powerful to be any, like, good reliability-wise. And I just... Ugh, I don't like this thing. I don't think this thing is very cool. It's not, like, this bad. It still works. It doesn't break the game or anything, but... Balance-wise... Nobody knows how to deal with this thing. It is an actual problem. I really like Mergadamia Nut. It's, like, one of my secret plants I really, really like. Macadamia Nut has a regenerating wall, but it's an actual proper regenerating wall. Like Infinite, where it is like, oh, 20 seconds I heal the full. Merc's wall actually like heals steadily over time when it's not being eaten. It's a shadow plant, so you have to put him in Moonflower's out position, which is very notable. And I do like that, because it forces you to play around with a power source. And the shield itself actually redirects eat damage against the zombies, which is actually very cool. Zombies like newspaper just get completely nuked by themselves, which is very fun. I like that. I really like that. The main issue with it is that it doesn't really tend to work with other forms of power. It only has a moonflower power, which is kind of weird. Concealment does nothing for it. Nocturne barely does much for it. It's. Is, but I think that even despite that, I think it's still a cool plant. I really enjoy it. I really do. Really, really do. Rebel Baron is bad. It jumps across the battlefield for some reason. Rebel Baron is really dumb. I don't think there's much value in it. I also put, like, Power Vine down here quickly as well. Power Vine is a plant that I think is very funny to me. Power Vine... It's a plant that in theory, it's a vine plant, but as you put them all together, it gets stronger in theory. That's a fine concept. I like that concept. The, the stacking only applies once, though. Two connected power vines get two shots. That's the maximum. You do not get more than two shots with power vine. That's all they have. Which is actually pathetic. <laughs> if a plant actually scaled, I could see more value in it. But as it is right now, it just doesn't. And it is kind of stupid. Her design is thing? Hate him. Actually hate him. Sometimes not fun for you. Vanilla Tail and Potato Mine. Which is free and actually range, which is really stupid. This is not the first time someone's mentioned Tail and Potato Mine. <laughs> Shine Vine. I'm gonna put you in. Great. 
the sole reason that they're a good gold leaf. Uh, Shine Vine solved the problem of gold leaf where at late game you don't need summer races. Because you can design a way where you still need summer races to get the full value of it out of. And I like that. It makes the plot actually mean something and means that you don't just like negate all late, all late game. Which is a big deal because it's my least favorite thing. <laughs> I, I hate the fact Goldie does that. Shine Vine does not. It's just Goldie for better. Okay, let's see who's left. Hurricane! Average. Very strong plant. Very strong plants. But I don't care too much about it. It's not that fun to use. It just can't direct shop, and that's about it. You use it mostly because it's powerful. You don't use it because Hollow Kale is the best plant in the game to use in terms of enjoyment. Puck where I'm putting in there. I put in bad, but I don't think it's as bad as anything down there, realistically. The issue with Pokra is that it's an actually broken plant. It's way too strong. Way too strong in vanilla. And balancing it can be a problem, but I don't hate it as a heavy plant. I've seen heavy Pokras work. Heavy Pokras are fine. They're not terrible. But I still don't think Pokra is a great design plant. It's very generic. Melee solo plan a single lame is lame, especially what Ice Room does, except this does like slightly less. Which is really dumb. The like multi lane hit thing is multi the feed up attack thing is visually interesting, but mechanically means basically nothing. The stall is a really weird trait I don't think it needs, realistically. A projectile is entirely pointless. I don't know why projectile exists. It's it's really why. But, ultimately, I can't hate it enough to be down here. It fundamentally works, it just is a really strange plant. Okay. Four more plants left, because we'll be dealing with these two later. Iceweed! I'll put Iceweed in there. I, I, I don't care for this thing. Iceweed feels like you're taking away the Sinji part of Spikeweed and you're just left with nothing. I've played with it in Reflourish quite a bit now, but I can safely say I don't like it. It feels very whatever. It's- I just don't care for it. I prefer just all Spike with a Snowpea or something. But there's literally no element of it I really love. Which is unfortunate, but whatever. Shadow Pee! Average. <laughs> very powerful Shadow Plant. Its stalling doesn't even bloody work. But as far as shadow plants go, it's the it's like one of the few attacking plants that don't just fade, fade off the fade off the face of the earth. One of the few attacking plants that don't just fade off this earth and just not work. Shadow pea is functional. That's something. I'll accept the fact it's functional over dust club is non-functionality. That's something. Hocus I'm gonna put in bad solely because it's bugged. If you get multiple Hocus they have a bad habit of stacking up on the same targets. If this happens, they tend to waste shots. Which is a problem. Otherwise, they're not that bad. I enjoy the plant's concept plant conceptually. I like a heavy knockback plant, I like the low range. But the bugs around it kinda kill it for me entirely. If it wasn't as buggy, maybe I'd like it. Who's to say? And finally, Boing Setter of all plants. Uh, is there any actual Boing Setter plants plant fans out there? Like, genuinely? Is there any? Like... Boing Setter's animation is fun, I like animation a lot, but... It just counts as grid items, and that's it. Grid items aren't that big of a deal, like, ever. They never have been that big of a deal. Uh, it chills everything on screen, I guess. It knocks things back for some reason. It just instantly kills anything, grid item me or weaselly, I guess. I just don't see the value in this thing. Both bugs and blooms and barrels, too. Yeah, you can visit me, this plant's good. Yeah, I just don't like this thing. I keep it in mad because there are some times where it can be interesting. In one of the reflourished Halloween events, no, Halloween events levels, it's like one of them. More levels than that. I think like level 10. 
They had a level which had like Boing Setter and against like a lot of other threats, and it was actually quite nice there. I enjoyed it there. But beyond that, it's just kind of just being either broken or just pointless. And with that, we are almost done. I'm gonna put Imitator here, and I'm gonna point out exactly why. You see all these plants, chat. All of these plants. They have ranked in various, various like places and various, well, ranks, obviously. You only get to pick eight of these plants. But a lot of these plants are very radically different. These with imitators a plan comes up to me. In PZ2, there are too many plans for imitators to be actually good. You want to imitate Cherry Bomb? Grape Shot. You want to imitate Squash? Lava Guava. Want to imitate Snapdragon? Fat Beats. Want to imitate Holy Barrier? Like Banana Launcher or something. And usually just being a plan of different coverage is going to be better than duplicating the same plan again. Let me get an upgrade. PZ2 only has 8 plants max, not 9. 9 is PZ1, whereas like 10 max, which is stupid. Imitators on plan really doesn't work in PZ2 because there's just too many crap, too much crap going on. Like, in PZ1 it was fine because in PZ1 you only had like 49 plants, I think. Only like 41 could be imitated anyways. There's 190 plants in PZ2. <laughs> you don't need to imitate a plant in this game. You really don't. And Marrow Gold is... There you go. Yeah, I'll put it at the top, why not? Eh, eh. Perfect. Incredible. Okay, so that's the final tier list then. I think I agree with all these plans, to be honest. I don't think... I'm kind of going for a state of anything I distinctly disagree with. Let's do that a bit so we can see the entire thing all at once. Really puts a perspective how many bloody plants there are, isn't it? But I, I think I'm happy with this. I, I feel like you feel like it's compared to the last time there's a lot more plants in the lower tiers. Pretty much entirely just because they added so much like plants since last time and most of them aren't very good. Which sucks, but I feel like to point out that like an average team, the most modern plant is like this thing, Media Flower. I think Media Flower is actually just in general one of the most like modern plants up there. Because like PZ2 new plants just tend to not be that good. Thank you much for Joe for the dollar. I'll little check to make sure like that's the most recent one, but I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it's like Vi and Father closest one. He's not too after, I think Love is after Media Flower, I'm pretty sure. Before me, rather. Double check it though. Yeah, Media Flower is. Uh, Media Flower is before, like, Vamachini and stuff. After it. Okay, yeah. That's what's top. Yep, yep, I'm right. Cool. <laughs> to me, I'll have to figure one out. Yeah, I think that's it. Media Flower like, really high up for most plans, and even this is kind of in a dodgy place. Most modern plans are just like meh or b meh, bad or worse. And I think it just kind of is a problem. I'll see my turn to a, to a stream highlights, we'll see. And I have this thing though, I don't see anything that's really wrong here. I feel like. I feel like almost these two plans are a bit too low, but I just... They don't work as planned, so it feels kind of weird for them in a else, even though I do kind of like them. We already rank zombies, I'm not sure I want to redo that one because it seems kind of pointless. Pokemon is going low. I don't think so. I don't think it's that bad. It has potential to do stuff, which our plans don't really have. I got these to be higher. True, true. 
Means why are you raiding them? Read the pin comment! This is this is the details about how I feel about each plant design wise. Palatea mine is bad because the plant design is really stupid. It's bad because it is a power crop play cherry bomb. Come on. Read. I know PC players don't read. <laughs> it's like the number one meme. Okay. I think about this though, and I think I'm really really leaning really off here. I think the stream is quite nice. I enjoy Tearless a lot. Next time, we'll likely be going back to doing, you know, reprise, I imagine. But we'll see. I've still got a mod I want to play at some point soon that I've got early access to in the future. I want to get that done at some point. But, for the time being, I think I'm glad to see this being done. With that said, this has been Creeps, and have a good one.